He's out of the cage and entering the studio. Make way! It's the Silverback! And you're listening to the Gorilla Cookie Radio Show. Take it away! back this is the gorilla cookie radio show i am silverback and with me tonight my illustrious guest host tool angela as per usual we are coming in late but we are coming in hot my friends and speaking of hot you wouldn't believe what we just saw in fact uh our guests tonight are a couple of very generous uh patrons of the gorilla cookie radio show uh, let me go ahead and introduce to you guys Ron and Andy Durham, and they have brought with them, if you can believe this, their entire race car. That's true. They they've brought got, the whole freaking thing. They rumbled up and down the street, didn't they? They've got an unbelievable <laughs> race car. Uh, <laughs> let, let me back up for one second because these guys, I got, I got to tell you how I met these guys. We were sitting in the stands at the uh, NHRA. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the the season opener of the 2014 NHRA uh, win- or Winter Nationals, exactly. And we've got, you know, we're watching we're watching races go on, and and uh, I mean it's top fuel, it's uh, pro stock, it's all kinds of stuff. And and a friend of mine is sitting there in the stands. In fact, you may have seen him on, on my uh, on my Facebook, and he's just kind of. Slurring at people and saying, ah, rah, rah, you know. "How you doing, buddy? Ah, give me a hug." What up? <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Get your popcorn. Well, for, uh, right off. Uh, so, so there's a car lining up, and and he turns around to Ron here, and he says, "Hello." <laughs> he says hello. <laughs> I don't think that's what he said. No, that's not what he said. No. <laughs> Are you what? staring at my nuts? What? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you must be in the next stage, in, in, in the next seating stage up, because you're you're looking right at my junk, buddy. No, what he said was, "Hey, have you uh, heard of the Copo Camaro?" And there was a there was the, the Copo Camaro was lining up, and uh, Ron, you were sitting there, and you just did not look that impressed, and you're like, "Hey, you know what? I I kind of got my own race car, buddy. So it's cool. Uh, we can blow the doors off that bad boy." <laughs> and I immediately turned around. I was like, "All right, cool. Uh, you want to, you want to, you want to come on the radio with me? Game on. Let's see this thing. Yeah, exactly. I want to see it. Prove I want to it. See it. They he, proved it. He showed me a picture of it. We've got uh, a video which will be running uh, like right behind us here shortly. I would yeah. imagine. Oh yeah, no, we got we got uh, we got stock footage coming up and uh, a couple other things that Ron has been so gracious to share with me. Uh, their car, basically, t- uh, you know, everything between dyno runs, uh, launches, flybys, you name it. But <laughs> this is basically a low flying airplane, guys. And 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 the uh, the interesting thing about it, I'm not even going to do that part. Let's 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 keep going around because we've got more. We've got more more in studio. Uh, I also want to introduce my friend Joe. <laughs> hey Joe, Sorry. what's going on, man? Joe, what's Reitman. up, people? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, no, no, no. Joe, Joe is. Uh, Joe drives a '97 Prius. <laughs> uh, he's got a he's got a 2007 Prius. It gets up to 60, 65 on the freeway. 
<laughs> all the way up to 65 by yeah. no less than seven seconds. Yeah. Do, not, do not go up to Fresno, because guess what? There's a 75 mile an hour speed limit, and you will be the one that causes yeah. all the You'll traffic You'll be jams. the one Prius that gets pulled over for speeding <laughs> yeah, no, at all right. time. I will. I know. I, I will, too, by the way. <laughs> you know, what most people don't know is that if you put an extra 9 volt in the back end of a, uh, a Prius, the thing will actually do an extra 10 miles. <laughs> <laughs> if you put two in, it explodes. It's all kind of blows into pieces. Exactly. It's the worst. As, speaking of exploding things that are of the electrical nature, uh, and, and uh, you know, prior to we, you know, doing the updates to the studio, which some of you may or may, have not, may not have noticed, but... Our green screen uh, room is quite a bit updated. We've got all new equipment. We've got bigger screens, bigger computers, more, you know, we can more push space. Out more, more we can space, fit, we more can bandwidth, like the whole nine one yards. One person in here. Exactly. And, and, and before I just used <laughs> as to. As long as she doesn't have big boobs. <laughs> we never have big boobs in here. That's, Why would that's that be an show. issue if yeah. she had big boobs? <laughs> like, like, if it got more crowded with the big boobs, that would be bad? Yeah, right, that would right. be a bad thing. <laughs> that's not, we, we oh, actually, damn it, you brought your big boobs. Me and yeah, Steve. Right. Yeah. I can't believe we just had that statement made in here. If she has big boobs, she can't come in. Get out. We're doing man stuff in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you anyways. have bigger than a nine-inch cock. You also can't come in. <laughs> so, uh, so, 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 what I was uh, doing was I said, "Okay, <laughs> Jesus, you guys got me off the track again, <laughs> son of a bitch." Yeah. Okay. So, uh, oh, are we a little bit too high? I no, don't know. No, no. But I was just anyway, speaking of loud. loud. Speaking of loud. So, so, so when I, I got. Can... To, <laughs> when I got Ron, uh, you know, on the on the phone, and we started talking a little bit more about what we were gonna do and and all this, he actually offered to bring down the car. Now this this kind of blew my wig, wig back. It was lying in the bushes somewhere behind me. I'm sorry, I don't have a wig. In my life. Okay. Bringing the car down. Okay. Well, sure enough, he just showed up with his car, and uh, it, he shows up in a 35-foot trailer with the tow truck, the whole nine. His uh, his son Andy, who is the actual car driver, uh, is you know jumping out of the truck. Boom, boom, boom! Unleashes this bad boy on a residential street. Talk about what a scene! What a scene! <laughs> we we're all we're all you know mouths agape and taking videos in the whole nine yards. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you know. So, so it sounded like there was a dragon in the driveway. It pretty much did. I mean, you're uh, so so. Ron, why don't you and Andy? You could chime in anytime you I like. I was going to say either a dragon or a yeah, meth no. lab or I. Tell us a little bit more. <laughs> tell us a little bit more about this car that you got you got out in our driveway right now. Well, uh, it's a 2011 Dodge Challenger, and uh, we have a Viper powered engine in it, and. Um, you know, we picked it up from Roush Racing in Detroit. It's a factory race car. It was uh, built turnkey, race ready, and we picked it up, took it to the track, and you know, ran 140 miles an hour, and it was the the first pass down on it. Who was the first one that took the first launch? I was. You, Wait, you were. I started it in Roush Racing and drove right. it about three feet. You <laughs> bought. He, he got you bought it. Carry. So you know, you got the you got you got to basically crack the uh, the the champagne bottle over the <laughs> right. over the. Uh, bow there so and, then you he, went, and then he took it from there so yes. essentially you created this monster is what we got here right yeah <laughs> absolutely I understand that. Listen, you know, you know, I, I, I've got a son myself, and I, you know, I'm, I kind of like impose my will upon him, and I start to see him develop in all different ways. So essentially, isn't that it? Kind of like almost living vicariously through your son. Well, the fruit doesn't fall too far from the tree, but um, sure. I, my time has come. My season is gone. Go and ahead, now it's it. about making it for him and leaving him a legacy. Right. I just don't want you calling your son a fruit in front of everybody. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't <laughs> do that. Really inappropriate. He's We're on the radio and you're calling your son a fruit. It's not right. <laughs> First, he's, he doesn't want the big boobs. Not that being, being a fruit. Now there's anything wrong with being gay. <laughs> you know, but I'm just saying. All right. I make, I make the boob comment right. and then I call him a fruit. <laughs> you know, we are just fine. Okay. If he is. But you know, you know we're going there. That uh, that that fire suit never looks so pretty. Right. <laughs> we're all gonna end up in like bright yellow neon. Uh, you want banana hammocks here for the end of the show? <laughs> <laughs> Helicopters, nuts, wing crap a day. Yeah, exactly. So um, I, anyway. I have, you know, I have a I, my other car besides the Prius is a '67 uh, convertible Mustang. Ooh, uh, it strokes ladies. 330. It's got a 302 Mexican in it. Uh, it's got a 14 gallon tank to balance it out. I don't know what any of that means. Right? Can, can a, any of you guys explain? Neither do I. Do you know? You know? Do you know what that means? 
I mean, for the yeah, most part, I think you said you got a 330 stroker, so... What's that mean? That means... I only know that because the person I bought it from told me that. Well, when you stroke a motor, you extend the cam and extend the stroke of the, the, the piston and the combustion chambers, and that gives you more cubic inches because you, uh, you're expanding the you, volume of the combustion chamber. Your rod is longer. Right, so exactly. You got a longer rod. It's all about that power, man. It's like this is the dirtiest conversation ever. It's like a, it's like Viagra for cars. Exactly. Is that what it is? Yeah. Now, do you actually have to shorten the height of the of the piston to accommodate for the length of the rod, or do you actually the whole the whole assembly has to be changed? Yeah. Yeah. Well, strokers, you know, they they're, they're it's a lot of money for a for a, a motor, but I hear it's actually it pays off. The three eighty threes and whatnot are well, what, got some juice. What makes we have, what uh, makes five hundred and twelve cubic inches? Right. And uh, I used to say there's no substitute for cubic inches, yeah. but blowers make a difference. This is a known the, fact. On the CJs. Unfortunately, we don't rule that. Uh, we don't. We don't rule that. It almost sounds like like something like it's a conversation on a porn set, doesn't it? <laughs> so it does. You know, we're just talking so nonchalantly about poles and smoking rods and, and, and rods, right, yeah. and strokers and blowers. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah exactly. Well, you don't. <laughs> this is a dirty show. It is a dirty show. It's That's really dirty. It's a it's 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 a gorilla cookie show. In fact, we 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 routinely uh, play by the twenty second rule. You know, if that thing's been laying on the ground for a day and a half, we might pick it up and still eat it. Especially if so. you're still breathing. She's yeah, 20, exactly. Did you see the twenty minute rule? <laughs> oh, is it still alive? Well, yeah. Can't trust anything that oh, bleeds every it. month, right? It was close to death, anyways. Right. So now, uh, what I would like to do, actually, since I just peeked over real quickly and I saw I saw uh, Andy here puffing on his vape, which is a, yeah. a, a an interesting contraption you've got going there. But I just wanted to do a little shout out to our EcoSigs uh, sponsors and just say, EcoSigs, you got me to switch, man. I'm there, and I've got some uh, Gorilla Cookie Juice in here. I think. Can I ask a question? Because I know very little about the EcoSigs and and these. These vapor six. I'll try one. I can't. Yeah, I, why I talk about race cars? No, I can't. I swear I can't. I give up everything. Everything. Like, it, it, the I only did. thing it has in there is nicotine. It doesn't have the tar or the or the uh, what is that? The yeah, but from it's from nicotine. No nicotine. I gave up everything in, oh, in April. It. I went. Yeah, I went straight straight edge. In it. You're Somebody like, turn on a fan in here. Poor, but uh, poor no, no. But I'm fascinated like because I I went straight edge. We were talking about this earlier. Andy dipped for a long time uh, as I did on and off and and. Quitting is one of the hardest things oh, I ever did. You dipped? Oh, yeah, yeah. that's nasty. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's truly good. Well, it's, it's My great. grandma did it her whole life. Your grandma, really? Yeah. That's so she did. Your grandma dipped? That's yeah, no, she, she was gnarly. Yeah. Hey, she, no kidding. She, she drove a, a, a power steering list. Uh, seventy-eight Chevy three-quarter ton Ugh. stick. Would she like? You know, which into, like, had a like a fifty-pound clutch on it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I love your. Grandma. Would she like yeah. spit into a water <laughs> bottle where you can see all the crap in there no, as well? She it's just, like, wow, <laughs> no. spit. That's awesome, grandma. That is, my grandma was old school, man. The thing she about dipping that's ass, interesting. I swear. The dipping thing's interesting because you can't really do it everywhere, right? So you end up like yeah. you're limited to a certain degree where you're like you have to kind of do it alone, and it's like one of those things you can't like you'd be on a date and be dipping. So like you kind of like. <laughs> right. it does limit when you can do it, but you end up trying to find time to be alone to do it, which is a really weird concept. Yeah. You know, the, the the weird concept is that so many people are doing it now. You know, I just it's, don't it's understand like, how you can have a relationship well, with somebody you, that would you, actually you want to dip. up from cigarettes? You're supposed to be, like, kind of rolling it back, son. I know. You know well, well, that's easy. what I'm saying, because I'm fascinated by these electronic cigarettes. Can you tell me, I mean, so it has the nicotine. It doesn't necessarily have to have it. That's the whole thing. Is that it's actually um, in in some cases it actually has uh, a dietary uh, benefit. So essentially, if you're a big fat pig, you know you actually, I could use that. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually go ahead and use it uh, for a dietary supplement. Really? Absolutely. That's fa fascinating. Yeah. Interesting. So, so, so it, this is a weight loss tool? Now? That's, it, what, that's it, what I'm it hearing. Is. No, it really is. And this is not a joke by any means. In fact, this is something where, you know, if you are overweight and you right. have a tendency to eat too much, essentially what you have is all these different flavors that are fantastic. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got, you know, like for mine, I like cupcake and uh, caramel cappuccino. Please tell me they have cotton candy. You guys ought to put... In the intake, that way, every time you blow down the down the uh, strip at 145, everybody all sm a sudden smells uh, Girl Scouts coming. Let like, me tell you, I, that's you the flavor I want. Movie. I want the flavor of Girl Scouts. Yes, you it do. It does. They, they actually do. Yes, they, you they've do. got Samoa cookie pie. They got Se yeah. Seattle's gooey buttery uh, butter cake. That sounds like uh, a Girl Girl it, Scout I used to know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I've been done.
relations in different areas. I've actually, you know, I take the Amtrak to go down uh, down south every every so often, and you know, uh, when when, uh, when I do, I go on the train. It's better and, than the Greyhound. <laughs> no, listen, you know, and you get a hankering for for a smoke, like right. you know, like you need your nicotine yeah, fix, yeah. and you go ahead and you bust one of these things out. I've had police surrounding me, not they're like you know looking at me by any means, right. but you know, going through this, and I'm vaping, blowing plumes, and and they're looking at me like, wow, okay. what can you do, right? It's not smoking. It's not legal. No, it's not. It's water. It's flavored water. So what are you going to do? Amazing. That's, I'm really fascinated. Really and it smells like cupcake. I've actually had people tell me, wow, it smells so fantastic. You're making me hungry. Yeah, we just did yeah. like a 10-minute plug for, for E6. We yeah, did. <laughs> Thank you for informing me. It was like I'm an infomercial. Yeah. I'm going to, yeah, exactly. You're I'm going to be, gonna be requesting my, my super special pack this week. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's get back to this car, man. So, so uh uh, again, you've got a Dodge Challenger 2011 with a Viper motor in it. That's a 10-cylinder motor. What's the displacement on it? 512 cubic inches. 512? Yeah. Okay, so those, I know of, I believe the, uh, let's see, the, the 502s come stock with about 500 horsepower, 500 feet of yeah. torque. So we've what got do you about got? 850. Bone stock, is that well, you got to understand well, this was a you fact, this was a factory race car. The right, engine, no exhaust. The engine was built pipe, by right? Aero Racing Engines, who built okay. the Viper engines for the Viper Racing teams for years for Mopar, mm -hmm. and they built the motors for these. Our car has a Chevrolet transmission, a two-speed power glide, and a Ford nine-inch rear end, okay. and it's called a stock. You yeah, see the way he says this? He says this with a, with a great big smile on his face. Like, <laughs> go ahead and even try. It caused, caused a lot of controversy. <laughs> so I said, all right, it's not a nine inch Ford, right. it's an That's eight it. and four quarters Chrysler. No. Right. no. These guys are like pigs in mud. After a little while, you realize they like it. Like, go ahead and try. Yeah, don't don't argue with them about about parts because they you know they'll go back and forth all day. It's long. It's one of these things where you say if you're good, you know what? Uh, you sound like you're boasting, but if you say that you're not, everyone knows you're lying. Right. 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 Exactly. I mean, everybody complained that we didn't build it. I don't have time to build a car like that. Mm. I have yeah. time to earn the money to get it. Ooh. That is why they call you the wallet. <laughs> That's exactly Super right. Special. Yeah. My shirt says oh. well. <laughs> Hey, so everybody knows our I, and I'm going to have to give a quick shout out because we're doing things a little differently around here. Uh, again, not only have we upgraded the whole studio, but we've upgraded our process. Our uh, our engineer for the show tonight is Bishop from the from the Geek Geek Speak. Geek Speak show, TV. and yeah, he's, he's got a stock footage of the uh, of the car behind us right now you That's guys right. can't see it because you know, ron's it's... looking at the green screen it, crossfade it is where there. is it I bishop it. bishop time for a cross cross fade. Fade. there cross yeah. there exactly so we got we got uh so so now if you guys are listening out there uh we've got that exact car with the hood popped in our front driveway right now we're gonna go we're gonna go do some burnouts later on, but uh, you know, you may you may see that on Facebook later or on, on. the news if we or on the news. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. I, I, I think saying. I saw that be... your neighbors did a road grader job on. <laughs> and, I, and I just was telling them as I walked in, I'm like, "Dang it, guys! They tore up the street this week. How are we gonna get this car? I'm just gonna do call some you... burnouts down the street. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna call, call you Bieber. Call you yeah. Bieber. Call me Bieber. Call me Bieber." <laughs> You know, see what happens. And it's it's funny, is, it, is, <laughs> it is funny because you know they, they do have the regulations out there where you can't park, which kind of sucks. You know, I, I hate when they do that kind of crap because mm -hmm. it's just a really you know. I mean, they want to clean up the streets, but they're really not that dirty. Come on, uh, it's just another cheap way to go ahead for the city. I think, at least my own belief system, to collect some extra dough for the people that are just making quick runs in and out of their house. <laughs> and I've been tagged already, you sons of bitches. Right. And <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Uh, I don't know what point I'm trying to make. I'm just trying to go. Don't make, city. We're not well, making a point here. Listen, I've already made. I've already made the most significant point there is to make. Here at Gorilla Cookie Radio Show, we have absolutely no intention of apologizing to anybody. So if we make no sense to you, kiss my ass. I've been video you know? 15 minutes. I'm pretty sure that Tool just likes hearing his own voice. I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, oh no, we already knew that. We already knew that. Hey, tell you what, guys, uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Uh, we're not doing a, uh, a commercial break, but I do want to play some songs. We're gonna powwow here and uh, and just get uh, move on. We're gonna segue in a mental in a mental fashion. Maybe 
we have an so, analog. Uh, and 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 besides that, you know, we we uh, once again we want to thank Ron and Andy for coming in, uh, and we're not by any means dismissing them. We're going to carry on. Well, but l- let me give play you a couple the, songs. The most important numbers to your fans. This okay, car runs go ahead. Five point seven seven seconds in an eighth mile at one hundred and nineteen. So a lot of you guys go out there and run nine, uh, eight miles. Five seventy seven and one hundred and nineteen in the eighth. And nine ten and one hundred and forty seven in the quarter mile, and that's badass. I don't now, know what that I means. What does that mean? Okay, what well, he's talking about is quarter mile times its speed. You well, know, so I feel so feminine right. not knowing. I'm like, I don't know what he's talking about. Eighth mile is like <laughs> Irwindale. A lot of people go to yeah. Irwindale, and that's eighth mile. So five seventy seven is, is that the thousand uh, well, what's uh, meters? No, three six hundred and sixty feet. Oh, okay. So we go. A lot of uh, controversy last year was. How fast is our zero to sixty ET? Mm-hmm. Well, Ford measured them with the Copos, which are about the same as us. I mean, with the CJs, right. and they they figured out we were point nine eight from zero to sixty, and that beats any European car in the goddamn world. What's it mean? Yeah. So no second Europe point yes. nine Suck. eight to sixty miles per hour. It's not six seconds to to you know, or like a Porsche is four Ooh. seconds to zero right. to sixty. Right. They're doing it in under a second. Really? Yes. This oh thing's God. pulling like a sixty-foot wheelie when he takes off the line, man. <laughs> yeah. So wow. you know, I tell you, I did a one twenty-five sixty-foot, but it doesn't mean anything to most people. Yeah. Right. That's sixty feet in one and a quarter seconds. Yeah. Wow. If, in other words, if you hooked a, if you put a little hook on the on the bumper of your Corvette, you would literally pull the paint off like you're pulling the you know sheet out from underneath <laughs> right. your wine glasses. It would just skin anyway. it, and you would drag a a, a, a a red cape behind. That's just got to be the biggest thrill in the world. Exactly. Yeah, ex- exactly. And when we come back, we're going to talk All a little right. bit more about that, but we want to play uh, play some music, and I've got a couple of special ones lined up for you guys. Uh, this one's called She Speed from Palooka, and we're going to play this just now. Giggity. <laughs> it's fun. She drips a hot glass all of steam Breathes a lustrous night to see Around the burner is a real head tell She's a fire breather's bitter and a cold heart of jail She speak Full blown vodka tea Double ugly sucking kerosene She's a chrome thigh beauty queen She's everything I want She's not what I need Back it up a little more Bottoms up four on the floor She's a white knuckle power ride. She's a KY super side. Full blown vodka tea. Double all the second kerosene. She's a pro dive beauty queen. She's everything I want, but she's not what I need. She's a super sign of kiss from above. She's a fuel injected love. She screams across the sky. Guys, welcome back. But uh, once again, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take a little bit more time because Tool's out of the station. He's yeah. coming back in, but we're gonna do one more, and this one is called "Deadlights" from Terror Street Morgue. I looked into its deadlights, <laughs> and I wanted to be there. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Well, that took a little while to break into that one. I, th I figured I should have cut the front end of, of nah, that I like song, that, man. man. That, that was, was cool. That's one of those things that I think they do on, on radio shows. They cut the front off, <laughs> front off of half the songs they do because there's too much crap at the front. <laughs> I figured, oh, cool break in, man. Yeah, we'll get into it. Oh, God. Okay, we got to do four more bars. Eight nah, more. I like that, man. Ten that more bars. Cool. Let's just do 12 freaking bars here. Gives you enough time to actually have a couple more drinks, right? Yeah. Well, that, said. that being said... That hey, being said, yeah, we should have one. It, doesn't anybody drink around here? Oh, Joe. <laughs> we need Joe someone to make a drink. run here. No. Yeah, yeah. No, Joe doesn't drink. No, I'm no fun. <laughs> uh, we're gonna we're gonna get back to Joe, but <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, if you're gonna, we're gonna you do know, a heroin gonna, segment. Yeah, let's just let's do that. You know, I was thinking actually because uh, you guys probably didn't see it. If you're tuning into our show, you probably have no interest in the heartbeat show because uh, you know we're we're insane and they are relatively normal. <laughs> but uh, but we had to uh, we had to cover for Phil and Aaron uh, on the heartbreak uh, uh, the Harpy show the heartbreak that, well it breaks my heart to have to do it the heartbreak of a planet well tomorrow you know, is Valentine's have Day have to see so, them come yeah. and go like that it's just so sad <laughs> yeah but uh, we are we are <laughs> clearly insane and, and we got their show started off. Uh, and, Probably unlike any time they've ever done it before. <laughs> yeah, that was. <laughs> they're, never, they're, they're never they're 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 never that excited. But I was thinking when I was looking at the the girlfriend. They were the sweating. It, the, yeah, she's like, wow, wow. You know, in fact, she was. Uh, thanks they, for cutting me off, dude. That you just ruined my joke. Thank <laughs> you for that. <laughs> cool, the jackass. So we've got no. So we've got uh, we've got their guest uh, who was Brandon Reyes. Is that what his name? Brandon? No, uh, uh, God, what the hell is his name? No, something like that. Uh, no, no, no. It's uh, Eric. Just keep on it, talking. Man. Yeah, there we go. That's what I needed his name five seconds later. So, anyways, but his girlfriend was so clear, like she, her skin was so white, and I thought. Wow, this girl could be like the, the you know, the, the 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 spitting image of a heroin addict right here. You could see every vein in her body. She's like translucent. She's Trans, so yeah, transparent. Yeah, yeah. she definitely Almost. was. Oh, by the way, the name you're looking for is Brad Cohn. Oh, Brad Cohn. No, 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 the other one. The oh, other Nathan one. Ray. Nathan Ray. Nathan he was Ray. he was excellent, man. He's a basketball he really player, right? right? Yeah, no, no. Nathan definitely, Ray. Definitely, <laughs> yeah, yeah, only yeah. about three foot too short. <laughs> yeah, which He's one? Is, which He's one an aspiring which? NBA guy. What's that? Which one was which? Which guy was the the tank top guy? Then right, there were two guys. Oh yeah, yeah the, the tank, tall guy. Tank top oh, yeah, guy yeah. was uh, Brad Cohn, really cool guy, really yeah. great singer. And Nathan Nathan Ray right. uh, was the guy in there with a translucent uh, girlfriend, Lacey. <laughs> right. Wow. Right. She was. Hey, they were both sweet. The guy, hey, if you guys are listening, we're right. not talking crap. No, we, we love no. you. Actually, love you. Brad was. Yeah, he was we dreamy. Both very good. <laughs> he's, yeah. he's dreamy. You said. Yeah, he was. He, he was, was dreamy. He's dreamy. He was Abercrombie and Fitch kind of model looking. Oh, Biker. Nice. Now we know. <laughs> so uh, okay, says Rachel. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> well, so and he's the fruit. I'm just talking. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, no, he's not. <laughs> no, he's, he's, no. He's, he's a hardcore out. racer. He's got a girlfriend, or are you married? Uh, no, I have a girlfriend. You, you have, have a girlfriend. girlfriend. Okay, and uh, actually, yeah, let's get back to Is that. she translucent? Oh, she's no. not translucent. No, she's not. She's not, not like translucent. that. translucent. No, like does she shot put? She, she does not shot put. <laughs> now, you shot put, though, right? I was a shot putter, correct. Uh, I'm not competing anymore. Right. I have eligibility, but... Really? No, you did, like, the spinning around all that kind oh, of yeah, crap, man. No, I'd be throwing, like, that shit in the opposite did, direction. Did you spin or slide? I was a rotary. I rotary four. Four revolution. Four revolution. Oh, four spin. And the yeah. hammer. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh no, yeah. But we're not shut. No, no. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> hey, ah, mark it. Don't ever yeah, correct mark your that. father. <laughs> that you were spin throw. I was a rotary shot putter. Uh, did the discus and the javelin and the hammer. I did all four events. Right. Uh, but I was a primary hammer thrower and um, number four all time at Cal Poly. Nice. And uh, yeah, I had fun with it. It was cool. Hey, thanks yeah. for taking off like that, guys. We, uh, you know, I, I don't typically have to head up the show at all. You, you just run with it. I'll yeah. play some songs. <laughs> oh, I can yeah. sit back here. My bureau keep me company. Uh, yeah, yeah. You just like four yeah, So Andy, we, um, all righty. Hey, what's no. going on over here? What's yeah, we'll get a little what distracted. We'll, we'll go back so, to Jason like in an hour. He'll be like, I yeah. have to go. go to, just gonna go to play. I myself. only get like that the last ten minutes of the show. I'm like, all right, you guys take it away. I got <laughs> Which is, you know, that's typically how things go, right? That's <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Now, how, how many costume changes? I, that's the only way I am normal, is I actually is well, fall down yeah. as I leave the studio. We're we we trying to have six. Oh, six. Six costume changes six during, costume the change during the show? Yeah. You, you decide to put on warmer clothes as the show goes on? Is that what happens? Correct, and it's hot as hell. Yeah. That's yeah. In fact, crazy. I'm glad you mentioned that because we're actually, you know, uh, what I'm wearing here is, is a... Um, 
is a so beanie. You guys don't have it so bad on that side, I don't think, because those hot things as hell. are beaten like, down on right, right here. I'm sweating like crazy, but then, you know, in fact, thanks to Rat uh, Gold Rat Tooth, you know, I can actually sweat like hell. You know, let me tell you, this is this is an apparel line that, that stop is, touching me. It's not. <laughs> it's Just not. Saying. It's not one of your Macy's or Nordstroms or even your Ocean Pacific or anything like that you'd normally wear. Am I talking old school? Somebody <laughs> give me a parka. I need a parka in the studio now. I'm it's not like freezing. members only. Or it could be. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. come in with Ugg boots up to my thighs. You know, that's the next. That's the next sponsor yeah. that I'm gonna be. He wants to start his own <laughs> clothing line. Tarantula and Fitch. <laughs> Tarantula and Fitch. Nice. Uggs. We're gonna we're gonna Uggs with like spikes them. Call them thugs. <laughs> You'll wear those around and stuff. We're yeah. waiting for that to happen. I think you just got another uh, line in in the evolution there. But uh, yeah, no, no, this this guy, this is this is gold rat dude. Speaking is, of lines, man. Uh, actually, we, we do of have. Lines. <laughs> Come on, oh man. wow! No, no, no. We, we've Let got off that topic this, already. Bro. Oh yeah, go go go. I got I got to finish this out. This, this is for PJ. This is gold rat tooth. The guy is awesome. Listen, you know, this is this is essentially for. The, the elite, you know, the celebrities that we work with, it's all gold <laughs> Shut up. This is all about, you know. We are the elite, therefore we wear gold Check it out. Go to goldratitude.com. You'll see exactly what I mean. I mean, this guy is actually uh, revolutionary as far as uh, the, the wares that you'll put on your body. Mm. So goldratitude.com. This guy's awesome. BJ, check it out. Nice. I, yeah, we we like BJ, although nobody yeah. knows what he looks like. He comes in with his nah. bandana on He's his a ninja. face. Like, yeah, exactly. He's a ninja. So uh, back to back to you, Andy. You, you're going to Cal Poly Pomona, you're, and you're looking into, you're, you want to be an engineer, actually. Uh, correct. I'm actually going to graduate next year with my degree in mechanical engineering. Excellent, man. So you're good at math. I'm pretty good at math. Yeah. <laughs> I can, I'm, uh, I'm jealous, I actually. Two, I can do two plus two pretty good. Seven times yeah. six. Seven times six. Yeah. Forty-two. Oh wow! Whoa, <laughs> man! <laughs> Stunning. Okay. I'm surprised you can actually do normal math anymore. It's like all numbers and like quote, you know, weird. Oh, yeah. Everything signs. I do has it's... got fourteen variables and yeah, yeah. Signs like three D formulas. Have you had any project? Uh, have you had any projects thus far that are that that kind of test that 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 skill set? In other words. Uh, I don't know. That in other words, I I actually I think I mentioned to you that my ex-wife just got her mechanical engineering right, yeah, degree, yeah. and she had to, to build one of those. Um, it's for the Mars rover. It, it was the the um, what do you call it? The the satellite thing that goes on the top of it that like scans or whatever. Oh, like uh, radar. Or something? It's like a radar of sorts. But yeah, she had to design the the whole thing as part of a group because now you know that NASA is not quite so. Well right. funded, they're 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 kind of they're they're subbing out all right. of their technology. Um, I haven't done anything uh, in, in, uh, that extreme yet. I mean, I built a catapult for one of my mm -hmm. classes. That was pretty cool. Ooh, that, that was that pretty, was, cool. Uh, pretty what, simple. What did you catapult? Is it a, is it a catapult it a, or the other? What do they call those things? The, uh, the trebuchet. Yeah, trebuchet. No, it was like it was a catapult. It was a torsion catapult. But and it had a twist. Some it had a twisted rope, which sounds like a rock group, but right. the twisted rope actually I twisted said, rope. Why does he keep doing this bit? No, <laughs> that's a twisted rope. Twisted rope. Yeah. It had it's, it's, oh, you got the energy out of the twisted rope. Correct. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. He's he. Uh, so that was a full so size I, version. I, again, now. he's gonna tell me I don't know what. No, it's actually talking miniature. About. It was two two by two by two feet, and uh, we threw a plastic egg, and I think we threw like forty. Right. Feet or something Next like stop, car chucking. Exactly. <laughs> nice. Oh uh, yeah, I love those. I love those. But uh, yeah, we haven't. I haven't done anything crazy, and I'm going to get into my senior project next year. And uh, I, I want to do something kind of along the lines of thermal design, and and uh, I really like thermodynamics and fluid mechanics. Right. So I'm going going that route and uh, yeah. see what happens. I'm cool. actually working at a house full of engineers right now. It's a little intimidating. We've got a. <laughs> Uh, we've got one from Black Ops, uh, you know, that oh. did the uh, SR-71 when it came out. Uh, the Two sons have already graduated and are working in their fields, and the third one had just graduated, and he's looking at, you know, working at Budweiser or something like that. But, uh, <laughs> a beer what's engineer? The, what, what's that? A beer engineer. Well, what, the, what, it, what it ends up being is you, it, they hire engineers so that you say, okay, we've got, a, we've got this much uh, of the product. We want you... To figure out how to make a million gallons of it, and they have to design the system that will be able to produce it within a certain amount of time. Uh, gastrophysicist. It, yeah, it's like up. It's like uh, you know, upscaling everything that is small. What you and I, at the end user, end up with is something that has been produced in mass, and they need an engineer to do that. In 1956, that was my voice. Sounds so cool in this thing. Yeah, that was Robbie the robot. 
you know, the guy gave him a pint of whiskey and he produced 254 gallons. I'm going to take this call because I have no idea who it is. Oh, but I think that we're, we're actually going crazy right now. What's going on? Hello. Welcome to the Gorilla Cookie Radio Show. Who's out there? Hello, hello. Mm-hmm. Wow. Are we doing this again? Thanks for calling. Yeah. <laughs> no, still... Get a new cell phone, will you? <laughs> yeah, right? We're authenticating no, he's something. Still answering. Nah, I guess we're authenticating Go, something. So, uh, are you there, caller? Hello, hello. Are you there? I think it's a bill collector. Black Ops. Thank God I can't hear him. <laughs> yeah, it is Black Ops. <laughs> Thanks for talking about us. So, back to Andy until this guy comes through. Hello, hello, hello. No. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I see. Well, we, more technical issues. Welcome uh, yeah, to the that's welcome, awesome. welcome to my so, world. <laughs> this seems to and, be the and, protocol. And, and and more than likely, it's going to be Steve Johnson. So uh, that yeah. was that was one of our initial contacts with the uh, with the NHRA. Yeah. Who got? Did you see? Hello, Andy? hello. Right. Hey, welcome to the. Hey, there he is. Okay, welcome to the Gorilla Cookie Radio Show. This is Silverback. You're with Tool, Andy. Ron, oh Ron, <laughs> and Joe, <laughs> and Joe. <laughs> Who is it? Don't make me spit it out too fast, man. Who's out there? Uh, this is uh, Chase. Chase from Atlanta. What's going on? Oh, Chase Huggins. Goodness. What's up, yeah, buddy? Gotta love those up, Southern guys? boys, man. Y'all making it happen tonight? <laughs> oh, we're making it happen. Exactly, we're making it happen as we speak. <laughs> so, uh, Chase, Chase, you're uh, you're actually uh, indie related, from what I hear. I, I, I have uh, we haven't got a chance to touch base, but you're uh, you're a indie champ. Yeah, indie champ. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> tell me, <laughs> tell me about that, man. <laughs> you know, like I said, film left, left turns are my favorite. <laughs> Every time I make a right, I get pulled over. <laughs> right yeah, yeah, hey, what, what do they say? What is it? Three, three rights make a left? There That's you go. True. That's exactly. Yeah, but two, two wrongs don't make a right. <laughs> hey, depending on who you talk to. <laughs> I'm sure you could talk me into it. So tell me a little bit more. What are you doing, Chase? Where are you calling from? Man, I'm in Atlanta right now. Uh, you know. How's the Valentine's weather? Valentine's Day is tomorrow. How's That's the weather, true. Chase? Uh, I've got weather. a weather. Oh my god! <laughs> is it still hot out there? Oh my uh, god, you guys are close like to Florida. So degrees on right. Sunday, <laughs> and uh, it was twenty-five degrees yesterday. Oh, twenty-five. Wow. In a matter of two days, we get a forty-degree temperature change. So it's like uh, banana hammock weather. No wonder they're like number three on the murder rate. <laughs> <laughs> Atlanta. I, I, I like how Atlanta yeah. actually the, the Palmettos, man. I drive down, I drive through there from uh, North Carolina quite quite regularly. Yeah, actually, actually I was down there uh, several years back. We actually did the uh, the Super Bowl event down there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Were you tailgating in two thousand? Yeah, yeah. Back in, uh, in there was a two, I think it was two thousand. Yeah, we actually did the Super Bowl event. Yeah, I was there. Were you really? You mean when the when the last ice storm hit? Uh, you know what? No, it wasn't. A, there wasn't an ice storm down there. Is uh, from one? No, no, no. It was definitely not an ice storm. Uh, you know, we actually did the uh, the giant dancing inflatable characters called the Sky Dancers. Those, uh, mm. yeah, actually, I'm one of the creators of the uh, giant dancing inflatable guys. Yeah, nobody does nice. that anymore. Apparently, yeah, that was me. You got one of those Sky Dancers in your living room, Chase? You need one. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Troy needs to make some money. So, uh, yeah, so uh, she's she's on a pole as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. Right on. Oh, that's superstar right there. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> hey, now, now, yeah, exactly. You're getting right up to speed, man. So she just uh, got a tattoo of my handprint on her ass. <laughs> so you. <laughs> <laughs> that's an inflatable toy you're talking about. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, so, 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 Chase, let, tell us a little bit more about your 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 uh, your, your your racing dreams and aspirations, man. We've got uh, we've got Andy here, who's actually still a college student, and he's uh, kicking he's bomb- it. Yeah, he, he's he's drag racing a uh, stock or excuse me, a super stock car. It's a it's the Dodge Challenger with a Viper motor in it. Nice, the SRT10. Uh, uh, that that would be the motor for the most part. Yeah. Oh, see, we got too many people coming in. <laughs> oh, we've got yeah, we've got we've got one of our superstar friends. Chime him on in. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're gonna actually have uh, Steve Johnson on the line here. Yeah, we got Steve Johnson going. See, that's I don't have buddy. control. By the Come way, on, we... Bishop, pick up, man. <laughs> I can't do it. Is that Steve? 
Hello. Steve, you out there? Ooh, there he is. Ah, oh, what's nice going one. on, buddy? Yeah, yeah. Hello. Yes, sir. Hey, Steve. Hey, man. Hey, everybody out there. This is Steve Johnson. He is a he is a drag bike legend with the NHRA, and he is joining us tonight with Andy and Ron Durham. How you doing, Steve? How you doing, man? Hello. Go ahead, Steve. Did we lose him? Thanks for calling, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the first time we talked to Steve, actually, we had like eight guys on the line all yeah, at once. True. We were bouncing back and forth from all sorts. We so, had Kate, yeah, Katie they, Sullivan too. was on the line. In fact, she's a yeah, we she's lost a hottie. Him. I don't know if you guys know Katie's, but she's uh, she's a sexy little thing, isn't she? Well, I hope we don't have too many people calling in. Hey, Chase, you still out there? Yes, sir. Oh, excellent, man. Hey, Chase, well, we haven't lost everything. Chase, do you do indie cars? Because I'm from Indianapolis, and I know a little bit about indie. But when I hear indie, I'm not sure you're talking about indie rock or indie cars or. Yeah. It's independent. No, I mean, uh, personally, uh, NASCAR is NASCAR's my love. Yeah. Uh, NASCAR. Stock, stock like. racing. Coming up pretty soon, yeah. NASCAR. You went to, you went, oh, you went we to, the, to the dark tomorrow. side of the money. <laughs> the dark side What's of the money? <laughs> yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> you know, from, uh, from what I hear, the, uh, the NASCAR side is, is getting a, a lot more of the, uh, of the dollars in terms of... Oh, see, there we go. Steve Johnson again. Go ahead, Bishop. Pick it up. Man. Man, that's a great ringtone right there. You like that? What do yeah. you think about what Richard Petty said about Danica? It's like Steve, you out there? Oh, he, he, he's, he's spot on. No, he's again. spot on. Oh, there he's got he you, buddy. Is. There nice one. Steve, Steve, what's up, buddy? She, she, she amped up cheerleader, man. <laughs> <laughs> is that really what he said? She yeah, he to... said she couldn't win if anybody else was out there. <laughs> wow. Dude, he, he said he said the only way for her to win would be if all the other drivers stayed at home. And if she was a male, she wouldn't even be there. Look, I, I met I met her in Vegas. As far as I was concerned, she was winning. This is Danica. <laughs> I, I, she looked good. Excuse me for tuning out for a second. I, I'm assuming we're talking about Dana, Danica Pat. Yes, we are. Yeah. No, we're talking yeah. about Dale Earhart. I couldn't believe Richard Petty, but, <laughs> but he's the king. <laughs> Who knows, man? Yeah. Richard, Richard has won 200 NASCAR events. He's the king. And I think he knew what he was saying, and it was just to cause uh, publicity and commercial hot, uh, a high. Hot hype, you know. I'm telling you, it's so, it's so hot here in the studio. I've actually got fog building up on my sunglasses. So do I, man. man. It's crazy. Someone's breathing way too heavy. Silverback. Hey, Steve, are you out there still, man? <laughs> oh yeah, just oh. Just, uh, just loving all the just loving all the minute of it. The, the, yeah, <laughs> love it all. Exactly, and and we'll we'll let you uh, we'll let you chime in here, man, because. We, well, first off, I was supposed to meet up with you at NHRA. You see, you must have had your hands full, buddy. He's a superstar, never got man. And he's got things to do. Exactly. We got we, we got girls. We got girls in our class, and uh, it's we got lots of girls in drag racing. And and I'll tell you what, there ain't nothing that's more. I'll tell you, there's a there's a rule against walking up. At, you know, they all congratulate each other. Everybody says our sport's too vanilla. It is way, way, way too vanilla. But. Everybody says, you know, good luck, have a safe ride, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, all that blah, blah, blah. So then the girl comes over with her eyelashes that hang out past her visor, and it's blink, 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 and the blue eyes and the long hair, and, oh, have a good ride. And you're like, da, da, da. <laughs> Speaking Steve's <laughs> language, man, for sure. <laughs> okay, it's love the Steve. biggest bunch of bullshit. And, and so I just avoid them all. It's like, you know. Give me your hotel room key or, or, or move on. Right. <laughs> that is some legendary <laughs> language from Steve Johnson. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so I'm glad this show isn't sexist. And, 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 uh, I like you, Steve. <laughs> hey, Steve, I agree with you, man. Hey, hey. Uh, hey every one of them make more money than us. Danica Patrick, a long time ago, she was making $7 million a year. It's like, you know, and, and the drag bike racer. That sounds Wait, like, was she that, making seven million from her from her, her racing career or no, from no, Go no, the Daddy. Go Daddy and all everything oh, else? Of course combined. she was because people you know listen, it, it's much more uh, tantalizing to want to you know even have the concept of bouncing a quarter off her tight ass, right? Yeah, you, Steve, I, I'm sorry. I buddy. don't know. He's <laughs> like, hey, hey you know, I'm in love with Danica. Hey, don't talk about my girl like that. There ain't nothing there ain't nothing uh that, that none of it is her fault. You know what? That's the bottom line, and I, I'm not yeah. waffling on my deal. So you're saying girls can't drive? Wow. <laughs> he's saying that, you know, what he's saying is that it's not his fault that she has better airbags than he does. Ooh. Ooh. That's all. Uh, yeah. No. I, I don't know what you said, but it's not her fault that she's mm. making all that money, and that was a while ago, so she's probably making a lot more. And, and you know, hey, as a racer, it's like, shit, I, I wish I was doing that. But at the bottom line is, is 
she she uh with making all that money with no performance she has to deal with a little of the bullshit and at the end of the day she goes home and looks at a bank account while everybody else goes home and pats themselves on the back because they they got in a great saying you know from a sponsorship perspective i'm i'm thinking you know she's perfect for everybody she looks good in the car wearing your glasses wearing nothing you know racing Losing around races. getting crashed out of the race the whole nine yards god mm -hmm. love her she's you know you, you can't uh bless her heart as a, as the southern uh people would say bless her heart she's, yeah, yeah. she's doing what she can do man that, i mean you got you gotta you have a certain... saying bless her heart well but the cameras are on her all the time whether she's running 30th or 6th exactly promotional they perspective don't do a guy that way i mm. mean um I, I just I have Angel Ceiling on my Facebook and I can't figure out what happened to her. And we we wanted a lightweight driver because Andrew weighs like two sixty. Yeah. If we could get a hundred and twenty pound driver in the car, we could go in the eights real easy. He's a little lighter than me in high school, actually, which is and, scary. And Angel, I said, So would you like to drive our car at some national meet? We come by your where you live. She said, No, her and her husband were running two different businesses and I said, How can you go from world champion? To not wanting to drag race, I don't understand that, Steve. Yeah, well, she um she won three championships, and she she had the cat by the tail, and she did great. Perfect weight, hundred pounds. The rules the the rules totally favored. Uh, From a racing perspective or a dating perspective? <laughs> <laughs> racing. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Go go ahead, Steve. Go ahead. The rules the the rules were you know they, they were that what they were. You can you can piss and moan all you want, but at the end of the day, it was a it was a lot more advantageous to make a rule that that supported X versus supported Y. And X was when a girl wins a motorcycle race or a national event and she's on TV, a lot more people are going to be tuned in. Than when some dude does. You got it. We were trying to find a lightweight girl to drive our car just for the publicity. By there's the all, way, there's all kinds of them out there. You don't. She's not the only girl. There's lots of girls out there that can do it. By the way, how much do you weigh? <laughs> He's I'm like a, a fat buck ass forty. 150. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. holy crap! In fact, I, I ran across a picture of you inhaling a box of donuts the other day on Facebook, <laughs> and I was like, "That's probably all he ate that week." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, when I go downstairs on, on race morning and they have the eggs and pancakes and mm -hmm. the bacon and, and the, 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 water. And the, all, the, all the fruit and everything, I, I usually walk by and have a big inhale and then I'm like, woo, am I full? Right. And then I and leave. I'm <laughs> sure you must be jealous as hell of, of Katie uh, Sullivan because she had a big old box of donuts outside yeah, her trailer. Yeah. And I probably ate half of those suckers before we even did that, <laughs> that interview. Sucks ass. He's waving goodbye with a leaf little She's lettuce. thinking, hey, I'm a buck 25. I got these guys beat by like 25 pounds. I don't, I don't care. I haven't weighed 150 pounds since I was 13 years old. <laughs> me too, bro. Trust me. I gained 100 pounds over that summer. Unbelievable. <laughs> Andy was born. 150. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mom's like, ouch. Oh. Yeah, my buddy, my buddy Jay Payne is driving pinch. an alcohol car. He says, I drink that in one meal. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I drink that in per show. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. We actually so, wanted a famous girl, but that's yeah. why I contacted Angel. But we don't want just any girl who weighs a little bit to go in because we don't want somebody driving our don't car crash my famous. freaking car is all right. i have yeah, to tell I you think Andy would look too sexy with a wig right now huh? yeah <laughs> no I don't, I, don't care. I don't care what his moves look like he is not gonna he's not minor gonna get bigger the, yeah exactly hey. <laughs> boobs no let's not do that to andy he's nah, nah, no he's mine nice kid. yeah i don't care yeah, yeah but you know there's, i can't do that yeah, all kidding aside, i'm you out know, of your league uh, you know, Angel went through her learning curve. Everybody goes through a learning curve. You know, I, I don't, I don't care who you are. You, you, you know, to do something in, in a huge way or to change what you're doing, you got to have a, a compelling reason to, to make the change. You got to get the best advice or the most professional person around to direct you, and then you got to supply massive action. And so, you know, you if you if you if you've got those three things, you're going to be successful. And if you input, you input a girl on there. Um, she's gonna bump her head, you know. She, there was there was all kinds of controversy that surrounded Angel for a long time, but you know, at the end of the day, uh, you know, she got what she got and she did what she did. So, you know, you got you, you got to take a little of the headache. You got to take a little of the coal with the with the diamond, so to speak, if if that's even a saying. You got to take a little 
a little shit with the the dessert or whatever the saying is. You know that you know what I'm saying. Yeah. What would what what do you suppose would be the reaction uh from the from the NHRA crowd as a whole if Kitty Sullivan won the uh the drag bike championship? Draw jaw drop. Who's her sponsor? <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's um, better. It, it she's would practically be, self funded. Um, you know, yeah. They're going to love it. I, I mean, you know, Shirley Muldowney won a championship. Angel won a championship. Erica Enders, when she when she won her first pro stock race, you know, that was huge controversy and stuff like that. It, at the end of the day, we everybody needs to chip in a penny. And when everybody chips in a penny in, in NHRA, we Mellow our, Yellow Drag Race, and our sport's going to be, it. you know, uh, <laughs> way ahead of where it's at right now. So right, the right. problem is, is it takes more than a penny each year. Right I agree on, with Steve. you, and, right and on, I think Chase probably you could chime in here. Are you still there, Chase? Hello, Chase, you there? Uh, oh, he I cha- think he gave up on he us. He's like, screw these He's guys. Like, yeah, man. NHRA and NASCAR don't mix, man. Well, yeah. I'm out of here. Yeah, you guys are talking drag racing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> damn it. All right, sorry about that. There's chase. only yeah, man. Hey, dude, call back in. We 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 ain't hating we're on you. We're, dude. we're just trying you. to give everybody their spot. And yeah. I I'm typically at the top of that. But Steve Johnson, you are a funny guy, man. We 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 loved having you on the last time and the time before that when nobody got to see it. But uh, uh, you know, otherwise, uh, Katie jo- uh, Katie, Katie Sullivan, Sullivan she, yeah. she's not uh, she's not gonna call in. I don't know. Now nah, who knows? You know, Katie's probably you know she's probably over there like drag racing up and down the strip right now, getting ready for so? these for these games. Yeah. Steve, yeah. what year did you win the championship? Uh, I won. Uh, the the it was the. U.S. the uh, U.S. National. Oh, that's right. Was, it was the uh, race. Was the two races that we won. Uh, that's our granddaddy. That was uh, 2008 and 2005. But that- winning the champ, uh, I won a championship in in another organization. But I haven't won a championship in any. Oh, I thought you won in any. Oh, I I I I, uh, I I checked the box that says I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Who was and, the Who was the guy that won the pro, pro stock bike race? And Graham Light said, "No, he didn't." That, that That was That was the person on the other end of the Skype phone call. Ah, oh. dang! You just got gorilla fingered. He definitely did. Wow, well, that was really <laughs> something. You know what? Account. And I think I think oh. your sponsors are saying, "Yeah, we would like you to win too." <laughs> yeah, it was it was the most controversial win in, in their history, and uh, it's um, I'm the only one to ever win the U.S. Nationals on Tuesday. Right, I remember because the, they they couldn't deny what ESPN photoed. <laughs> <laughs> they actually did deny they, they did deny it on Monday, but. But they they recanted on Tuesday, so I don't know if you guys are familiar, but they have. I was gonna say we're we're all completely in the dark here with your inside jokes on on (laughs) NHRA uh, folklore. He won the U.S. Nationals, and they had a finish line photo cam, Mm. and he didn't lose. I mean, he lost, but he won. His tire was ab- absolutely in front of the competitor. Okay, and Graham Light, Graham Dim Light, went on and said, uh, "No, he didn't. Our electronics don't fail." Well, yes, they do. Ooh. Ooh. So the so the uh, the camera actually caught the they the don't real know, truth of it. They don't I'm allow assuming... that finish line camera anymore. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, really? Wow. Well, they have it. They, they absolutely it might still have been have an angle. Camera. It's just it, you know, Graham. You know, everybody bumps their head, and and uh, you know he didn't know if the camera was on the finish line, and it's like that's the ESPN's job to put it on the finish line, and. You know, ah, that's just it. Just drags up a whole bunch of. Yeah, don't don't, don't talk about it. You won. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, you know, exactly. Because, I mean, because I I love our sport, and and you know that's a that's a pretty big thing to say. You know, you know, it's one thing to say, hey, you know, he's got a big engine, or hey, you know, they're not the right weight, or hey, the fuel might be wrong. But I mean, it's like, look, I got a thousand dollars in the bank, and the and the bank says, no, you you owe us twelve dollars. It's like that's not even close. You can't even keep track of a balance. It's like if you can't tell who won that the race. That happens to me every week. Do it. I just want, I want you to know that we love you. Son of a. We love you no matter what. Yeah. Who yeah, are you again? No matter who. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm oh, sorry. Man, did I just step on your joke, man? I'm You're the sorry, worst dude. date ever. Oh, sorry. I, you know, <laughs> I know. I really yeah, didn't mean to. Out. We got like seven guys trying to chime in here. So far, you, yeah, so who are you going to spit it out? This is the dirtiest show in the history of man. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to give you what? a chance to come back here, Joe, and prove your worth. I love having you on, man. You're, you're, you, I, I know you've got an enormous potential, man. Uh, and, 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 when, and when we, as we carry on, we're going to get back into, into uh, some more about you, but. Right now we got Steve Johnson. He is a he is a legend in his own right. And uh, and uh, Steve, for for our guests here, Andy and Ron, they are they are actually self funded as well. Uh, just like Katie, uh, would do you have any words of advice in terms of attracting sponsorship when for their <laughs> uh, for their Challenger car? Please, I, I'm sure Ron is saying, yeah, please, please. Well, K- Katie's Katie's got a little deal. I think Katie's got a, quite a few little deals, and she um yeah she's I got little stuff, but she's the girl. So we already covered that topic. We already know that you know they're gonna they're gonna give her uh, you know that support because and not only because you know she's a girl, but she is actually worth it. She's she's got she's got talent. She made it to the semifinals uh, uh, last year, so she's not doing too bad. Yeah, if she does that, if she does that consistently, you know, people will um, people will start gravitating towards that. People uh, in America, they're they're like anything; they they want to hang out with winners, and it's it's not a uh, it's not a it's not a huge concept. It's not anything that no, nobody's figured out. You know, it's it's um, and then you have and then you have the the winners. You, you say, well, everybody can't be a winner. How does everybody have a sponsor in NASCAR? Well. It's because you're you're a, you're a winner because you're hanging out with somebody that's in that sport and and is visible in that sport and they might have a a winning program off the track. So, end of the day is is everybody's always trying to affiliate with themselves with some kind of a winning team. And if you're not winning on the track, then you just got to figure out another way to create create that uh, that aura and then and then go out and package that and then go out and sell it. Somebody's going to want to buy it. And I don't care what the camera says, man. You're always a winner in our, in my heart. So without a doubt. <clears throat> uh, so uh, going from that, so so you had a bunch of girls over there at the uh, what? You got something? You want yeah, to- I was gonna I was gonna add something to that as well. In fact, you know, uh, I want to make this uh, this announcement as well. And uh, Steve, uh, you know, you can support this one as well. Oh yeah. Uh, we're actually looking looking forward to actually having you as uh, in addition to the Excite Radio team with your own segment. And we need to uh, you know get that uh, that all put together and fulfilled but uh this is gonna be an exciting little segment that uh you know that we're gonna uh incorporate you into oh your own his own radio show you bet we're gonna have a racing yeah. segment and uh in fact they, they that, twisted I, I, our I, arm steve so we I want to put you. the buzz out there for you steve i mean uh, i figured you're gonna go ahead and release that one i was just gonna support you on that one but uh what do you think man are you excited you mean you mean I'm gonna release it after you tell everybody? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I think uh, I think anything I can do to to um, you know I, I love our sport. I've been twenty, I've been a long time in our sport, and so it, it's like I want to do whatever I can. And, and you know it's it's frustrating because the most exciting guy in our sport is sixty four years old, and so uh-huh. I'm I'm like I'm scratching my head the whole time and. And saying, "Hey, we've all got we've all got personalities. We've all got uh, we've all got w- ways to attract uh, our audience and crowds and things like that. We just need a forum to be able to do it. So um, it's always usually reliant on winning the race or winning the round. So and, and again, everybody can't do that. So the support that we can give uh, to the to the sanction body and to our sport is, uh, um, and it, it doesn't even matter whether you're racing a super stock or, or top fuel. It's it's to be able to convey, you know, what we've got." on uh in a social means and and right. whether it's social network or radio or this forum whatever it is you think about that there ain't nothing cooler than the, than the guy jumping out of the airplane with the american flag and the star spangled banner playing uh-huh. and the guy lands in front of you know 50,000 people with a flag and then at that second two 10,000 horsepower cars start up and shoot flames 12 feet in the air 20 feet in the air and do you know, quarter, uh, half mile, quarter mile, eighth mile burnouts all the way down the drag strip, back up, and then they shake the ground, leaving the starting line. You know, and, and travel three hundred miles an hour. I mean, there ain't nothing cooler. I don't care what it is. You That's know, so it's a feel like good moment, man. Even though your 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 gut is rumbling in your own body, it, and and I was trying to describe this this 
this sound that comes from the from the track even i don't even care if you're half mile away it is a thundering thundering boom like that that sound is unbelievable uh that's 16,000 horsepower effectively rolling down the track and uh there's nothing more impressive than that outside of the car that's literally parked in our driveway right now i don't know if we if we uh if we told you but but these guys were generous enough to drive their car down here Oh, and it's now parked yeah, in our driveway, yeah. quite quite quiet at, 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 compared <laughs> compared to when 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 they first rolled up and rolled it, got it out of the truck. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm sure the neighbors won't be um, won't be won't be rolling over to tell us never right, do that well, again. Right, right. You know that we call it rotating the Earth with top fuel. Mm. Mm. Oh, is that is when that they what try you... and take off, they right. actually spin the Earth backwards. Right. Yeah. <laughs> They so young looking. I'm actually a couple minutes younger than I actually should be because of that. So thank you guys in top feel. <laughs> uh, Steve Johnson, man, you. Um, so you were saying uh, again that you had uh, a bunch of girls down there, and I communicated you were down there in the setup track, and they were putting all those cool little, uh, you know. Yeah, the old school cars out there, the old drag racers, the ones that are like 10 feet long with, you know, 8, 9, 1,000 horsepower on the front end, which I have no idea how they figured out how to do that. Oh, uh, is that what you were doing down there? You were lining those things up or you were just hanging out with shit? Is, is this what, at the at the Winter National? Yeah, we're, yeah, exactly. I was supposed to meet up with you. I've got a gigantic corn dog for you. And I drugged the drunkest girl in the entire uh, stadium down there to see you. And it didn't work out. <laughs> You, you just said that you came down there with the biggest corn dog and a oh, drunk dog. I was gonna yeah. say, bro, you know, uh, both for him. Both I knew for Steve. I was You're like Steve. Where were you? It was I like, had a corn dog and a drunk chick. I yeah, had. I, I tell you something. When I see a guy running around with a big old corn dog, that, that's not the first person I go to. <laughs> that's that's why I was coming for you, Steve. <laughs> go ahead, Joe. Go ahead. I I you said, that was say. the point that I was making. Yeah. Wow. As wow. If I didn't that's realize. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Joe taking a turn, huh? Oh my God! <laughs> Steve, if you don't make it by the track back. with that corn dog, Steve, man, I'm gonna, going? I'm, I'm gonna have some issues. Steve, I time. came down with a bunch of anal beads, <laughs> all right, and a six pack of Zima, and I couldn't find you. I don't know what exactly happened right there. Wow. I mean, I had a transvestite with herpes with me too. And we were all ready to hang out, and I couldn't find you. Do you want to try my Girl Scout cookie flavored vape pen? <laughs> <laughs> I swear I don't have cooties. So, uh, Steve, man, yeah, uh, once again, you are rolling with the punches right now. I love that, dude. And we 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 appreciate you coming on. <clears throat> Tell us a little bit more about uh, what, you, what what you got planned. Uh, as far as your show is concerned, uh, I don't know if our yeah, audience yeah, knows yeah. or even cares, but Steve's Are, going to do a sports segment for... Well, you know, I, obviously he's, he's going to have his own mystique behind it, but we definitely want to uh, want to you know make sure that uh, you have your, um, uh, I guess, itinerary set up for, you know, what's... Uh, whenever. Whenever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll greet you with a corn dog. At the, <laughs> at the station Welcome of your choice. Show me his corn dog and some anal beads. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on now. Let's get back to back, back to business here. Right. We've got a we've got a legend on the line. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Uh, Steve, let me let me ask you this because another guy that I ran into in the st in the uh, stands up there watching those guys, you know, uh, just completely blowing down that track was mm -hmm. was uh, with uh, Tony Scarlatta, the mm -hmm. uh, drag boat champion uh he set a number of records he was actually supposed to be here tonight it was way too short notice we, we we had some scheduling conflicts i'm really glad that you could call in i wish you could come in one of these days but uh these guys are gonna uh ron and andy are gonna be taken off to phoenix for the phoenix national right or uh, yeah it's mm -hmm. the phoenix phoenix nationals uh so they're going up there to race and we that would be next week so we wouldn't be able to fit them in but uh, unfortunately, we were a weren't able to get Tony Scarlatta on the show because he's definitely down to do it. But you know, he had a, he had a business meeting, so yeah. I uh, just wanted to say what up, what up to him. I already hey, talked to his people, and and they're gonna come on next uh, n next time or whenever they're available. But I was gonna I was gonna see what what, what do you think about drag boat racing? Oh, that that's um, you know, I always say that the uh, a top fuel. 
a top fuel motorcycle is uh is about the scariest thing i can imagine but the the <laughs> Uh, any kind of drag boat racing I, i've been 120 in a boat and i've skied behind uh an arrow high an arrowhead hydro um that was you know probably 70 80 miles an hour and uh i don't know how um those guys got the biggest stones on the planet next to the top fuel motorcycle guys so and i, I just watched them that you know they do that over in phoenix and that the i think it's the car quest auto parts nationals is is in phoenix and there's a there's a, um, and they just repaved it. And I, I heard there was a, a little issue over there. They got a, they got the pen hall guys over there grinding the track. So it's perfectly smooth, all that kind of stuff. But mm. there's a, uh, there's a, uh, a lake over there. And, uh, Alan Reinhardt always hosts the, uh, show with, um, with the, uh, with the drag boat race over there. And, uh, it's always really, he lives over there. So it's, it's kind of cool that he gets to hang out in his hometown and he's uh he's our track announcer as well but there's um there's something about drag boat racing that you know how they start and uh when they get out of control how they can keep it underneath them and 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 the safety that they've developed with with the pod that uh dislodges from the boat so it saves the guy you know the guy that invented race pack computers you guys heard of the, heard of the race pack computers that's what that cat used to do. He'd come over to our pit area. He'd come over to everybody's pit area and work with them. But that cat used to drive the boats, and he'd say every year the life expectancy of the drivers in that class in, the I think, the 70s and 80s was was like a, a, a six-to-one ratio. You know, they were they were either crashing or dying. Wow. <clears throat> it was yeah. crazy. And this and this cat was, was the smartest guy in the world, and... and uh, you know, he, he used to do that. So I'm like, well, how smart are you? I mean, you know, what the <laughs> hell? Uh, crazy, more like. I, yeah, I, and actually, yeah. the the I originally met Tony uh, on a lake. I'm I'm not even sure where I was. Somewhere out in the uh, in Empire. And I mean, I, I literally rolled up, got out of the car, poured myself a drink, walked down to the water. And next thing you know, I'm pushing Tony Scarlatta's boat out so he can do some amazing passes. And it is. It is sketchy to even watch it. It's those guys got so much juice. He's he's in a full uh, what do you call it uh, capsule boat. So he's just got like a clear Lexan you know bubble over his head, and he was hauling ass. I mean, so fast. And I knew that if that thing came apart on the water, all that was going to be left was that little bubble. Wow. <clears throat> but uh, yeah. Excuse me. He uh, you know, he's he's uh but he's very mellow guy. Which it's interesting. I think he's Hawaiian as well. So he's or maybe Japanese. Maybe a little half Same. And half. Yeah. I think like a lot of Hawaiians are Japanese actually. Polynesian. Are, yeah, a little bit half half. Steve, I'm, I'm yeah, sure so. it would depend on what the situation was, but do you see yourself maybe coming back as a team manager on a motorcycle team? Oh, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll probably be an owner or something, or I'm just gonna quit and run off to NASCAR world and do marketing or promotion or something for them, but uh, or for a team or something like that. But I, um, my school programs are are really. Uh, I really dig them right now, and they're, they've got some. Uh, they've got a lot of support, and you know that's. Uh, I'm I'm interworking those school programs where we go talk to students about marketing themselves after the diploma. You know, the the smartest guy in the class doesn't necessarily get the best job. Sure. You know that kind of philosophy. Absolutely, the um, dumbest guy in the in the class gets a radio show. Well, that's like the winningest car doesn't necessarily get the best sponsor either. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, so you know, I I really dig that part of uh, my, my life. Um, you know, it's not the million dollar paycheck by any means, but not having any kids or married or anything like that, it's it's kind of something I I feel cool about doing. I love getting their emails and and talking to them and giving them some direction and blah blah blah. You know, all that kind of stuff. Kind of a little corny, but. For me, I, I kind of dig it. So I'd love to make a million dollars for sure. So, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm still floating around a little bit. I really want to win uh, one of these NHRA championships. They, uh, the, the U.S. Nationals is, is kind of like the, the deal. But it's, for me, it's, uh, it, it's there. But I, I still want the championship. And, and uh, it gives me great credibility with the students. But being a team manager, um, you know, I, I could definitely do that. I'm helping a couple of top fuel guys with, with some sponsorship you know, trying to do that. So I've just been doing this so long. I, I understand a lot of it. Having said that, I'm sitting here texting with one of a, with one of these potential employees and, and we're not even close on, on dollars. So, um, <laughs> it, 
I'm, I'm that sounds them, about hey, right. <laughs> for the play, I'm I'm doing this satellite radio show, but uh, um, you know, I, I'm gonna figure out how to get get on the same page with the guy. But communication's a wonderful thing, and if you've got it and you can uh, convey it, you can get almost anything. If you can't communicate, it's a uh, it's a real struggle. So that's that's what I that's what I try to try to do good at, and and uh, if I can communicate the fact that I want to win and get everybody on the same page, maybe we will. Well, leveraging that experience and coming back would be great. Uh, you know, Steve, I haven't be, been able to put together a cohesive sentence for many years, but we have, uh, we, we, earlier you were talking about the 64-year-old, I believe, that uh, I'm assuming you were talking about John Force, and I believe, am I right? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. He and he's still on top. That guy is. He was burning it up. That you know on the uh, season opener. So, so obviously he still got it. In fact, he was making very consistent runs that day, and uh, you know always very impressive when somebody pulls over. You know, the three fifteen mark, but he was nailing almost three twenty nearly every run. So, uh, that being said, I, I recall last season when we were talking about all this, especially. As it pertains to sponsorship dollars, he was losing his sponsorship. I thought with uh, with Pennzoil is that is that correct? Yeah, he has a he has a long term deal with uh, he's had a a long term deal twenty something years with uh, with Castrol and uh, and Ford. He's been with uh, five or six years, and so um, they've um, they, they've both decided to to leave the sport, and uh, so he's full speed ahead on. Um, on trying to find a new sponsor for uh, some of his teams. It, some of his teams are already sponsored. He's got his daughters and cars and right. and uh, and um, his, uh, uh, his stepson or uh, I think that's what you call him. But it, Robert Height is a uh, family, mm -hmm. and um, he drives one of the cars. So he's definitely got uh, he's got the biggest biggest uh, team in our sport and and arguably one of the biggest franchises in all of motorsports. So um, he's got a lot of work to do, and he's he's a great he's a great business guy. He's got a lot of a lot of smart people around him, and he's um, he's he's probably implementing the plan that I talked about at the start of the show. You know, it's it's, it's you know create a compelling reason why, get the absolute best help, the professional, fantastic, unbelievable, top of the heap help, and uh, implement massive action. And and he he will be. Uh, He'll be successful. He's got the track record and and everything to support it. So that's his little headache. Arguably, he kind of put Castrol on the map for me, you know. So uh, it's kind of a bummer that they're leaving, but a lot of people understand it. And John's very grateful that uh, he had him for that amount of years. Right. You've got uh, you've got your uh, Mer uh, Mercedes sponsorship still. I'm assuming, and are, or are you are you? I'm you're still you're still in the game. You're still racing. I'm assuming, right? Yeah, I mean, you got the uh, Florida. You got the Florida meet uh, within the next week or two. Is that right? Yeah, it's it's the uh, it's, it's called the Amelie uh, Motor Oil Gator Nationals. It's in Gainesville, Florida, right down there in College Town. So it's uh, the um, the scenery is really really nice, if you know what I mean. Yes, so I do. The uh, uh, that's our season opener. The 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 bikes, the motorcycles. Uh, don't start at the Winter Nationals like the uh, other three professional classes do. Uh, fourth professional class debuts at the Gator Nationals during Bike Week at the uh, at the Gainesville Raceway, and um, that that's where uh, we won we won that race in '08, and I uh, went to the runner up in it last year. So um, you know, just just obviously uh, you know I'm here at the shop still. You know, we had this crazy weather. Geez, we had six inches of snow in Alabama, which we never had. So I never went home last night. So um, it's it's every day over here at the shop, thrashing away on on proposals. I get on an airplane and go do a pitch for uh, you know eight suits, you know, and sitting there scratching their head, what are we doing here? And then all of a sudden, it's like, wow, homeboy got some game. And then you get on a plane and run to a run to a school appearance and then come back here and start working on the bike and develop more marketing programs and pay the bills and deal with the taxes and make sure the bank's making the uh the, the payroll and blah 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 you know the ball never never stops 
Yeah, I don't. I don't suppose that I'll ever be a spokesperson for uh, for any company as far as talking to children is concerned. But <laughs> we love having you guys on. Um, you know, if, if you can leave your corn dog in its place, you might. Yeah. Wow. Hey, it's a it's a foot long. I, did I mention that? <laughs> Why won't they let me talk to kids? I bring the corn dog and the yeah. anal beads, yeah. and they don't let me speak to them. <laughs> I don't you know what's know. wrong. Some of these events they have. You know, this there. ketchup doubles as lube. Did anybody know that? <laughs> but some of the food they have down there at the, uh, you know, at, at some of these racing events is obnoxious. I've seen the turkey legs and all that. Yeah. My God, I mean, these are like macro mutated looking turkey legs. Yeah. They're humongous. I don't know where they get they the, all find these turkeys. these turkeys. I know. And where's the other leg to that turkey? Why don't I see these things like, you know, <laughs> Are they the paired? Or they don't, don't just sell one leg. They're they sell huge. a whole bunch of them. Yeah. So the, the one turkey's leg may actually be sitting next to his own other leg? Yes. Being sold. It's like a donkey there leg. There isn't like some That's like... just cruel. There isn't like a farm with like one leg <laughs> turkeys walking around. Where like they only yeah, took that, one leg and they let the him walk around. the one-legged pogoing turkeys. Yeah, they just hop. a bunch of... Yeah. Hop. Peg legs. They all have peg legs. Pogo. They all have one leg and the other leg's a peg leg. Like, this place sucks. Pogling turkeys. I'm sure that Steve loves to get the message out, and every once in a while he stands back and goes, why the hell do I even talk to these guys? They're freaking insane. <laughs> Uh, you know, well, Steve, we, we, we uh, I, you know, I hope that, uh, next time, you know, I don't have to, uh, you know, chase you around and, and trust me, I won't snag any of your, uh, drunken, you know, silicone girls off you. I'll, I'll come down there and I'll, I'll just hang out and I'll, I'll bring my own girls. What do you say? I'll, I'll leave the corn dog in the stands. Here you go. And, uh, you know, I'll bring you a beer. What do you say? Yeah, it'll work. Hey, I'm, hey, I'm, I'm all about the girls, all, all about uh, having fun, especially at the drag races. But, you know, you gotta, you gotta examine the facts. At the end of the day, I called you and texted you and says, hey, I got a parking pass for you. And, yeah. uh, and... I know I, so that must have seemed like it. a burn, man. And no, I don't know. No, no, that's not what I said. You already got you already got some of your uh, some of your situations handled, and then when we were at the track, then we just we just never uh, we just never got hooked up. It's uh, I again, know. I missed out on. Uh, I was supposed to get the race pack. I was. I missed out on quite a few things, but I got a whole pile of Excite Radio shirts too, and and uh, you know by the next time I see you, you're gonna actually get a Gorilla Cookie shirt. I might actually give you a shirt that's got your own radio show on it. But, uh, awesome. I don't want. I I I hope you don't. Uh, you know, have any hard feelings because trust me, I was trying to do uh, everything that I could do to meet up with you, but unfortunately, I had a whole crew of people that were with me, and they just said, "Let's just go, let's just go." And I'm like, "Well, psh, all right, fine, whatever, dude. I can't, you know, I can't argue with a whole carload of people." I was having a hard enough time finding my way there. Were you sitting with the ten people in the row you were in, or the ten people in front of us? I I had. Oh yeah, no, that was the that was the that was the ten people that were behind me, you know. And then I had, uh, you know, I had the drunk section to my left and uh, <laughs> the drunk section to right. Yeah, and the right. Yeah, pretty much. That's that's how I got invited. Basically, I had a free ticket and and, and a free ride for being the sober driver. Everybody seemed to have a forty eight pack in the stands. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. And and Steve's got one. All he has to do is pull up his shirt. That's how skinny he is. <laughs> Uh, if anything, man, yeah, you should pick up this vape pen. It's a good diet. You, uh, you, you might have a chance at the title this year. You're trying to turn him into one of those jockey guys that has to weigh like, what, 46 pounds as he's, as he's, uh, you know, jumping on a bike. Steve, would you say that if this, uh, if this season for whatever reason, uh, which I'm not even going to get into, but for whatever reason you don't, uh, pull off a championship, you think you're going to be moving on to, uh, just basically being, a sponsored spokesman type of deal or are you going on to nascar uh, what are your uh, future projections for career wise i want to i want to ride our sport out a little bit because I, I think it's um it's it's really making a change really making a turn right now i think the the crowd was really good in pomona and i think it's um the economy's changing a little bit and i think our uh, you know I, I i'm a drag racing guy and so i want to um I want to help our sport, and I want our sport to help me, and I want to, uh, I want to, I want to keep chasing everything. I'm not going to quit. You know, the the, the quitting thing sucks. I, that's what I talked to students about. You know, I parked our truck out here, and I got a gate around the, I got a iron fence around the whole place, and and I'll be damned. Somebody come in and, and broke into the trailer and stole all the tools, and then and then uh, we went to the put the tools from the shop in the trailer, went racing, <coughs> and then came back and. Uh, 
tore down the bike, fixed everything that week, and took the weekend off, went went dirt bike riding, and came back on Monday, and they, they, they went in through the window, stole the tools again. So You're kidding. You know, wow. It's, it's so easy to quit, you know. You can't race without tools, and, and I did, just didn't have insurance. You know, I got my own my own financial issues and stuff, so I, I wasn't where I needed to be with uh, protection, but, you know, it's easy to quit, but you can't, you know, so it's like if, if doing this for this amount of years, I'm all in, so I, I'm not leaving the sport, I'm not leaving the uh, ride, and I feel like I got a lot of game, I just got to, uh, I still want that championship, if I win a championship, now it's, it's different, you know, it's, right. now, well, I, now I can sit back, and uh, George Bryce has got a school down in Florida, at uh, the track where we're going, where he teaches people how to race pro stock motorcycles, there's um, uh, you know, there's all kinds of management opportunities, uh, crew chief opportunities, and and um, even running a racing team, you know. So uh, and and that's in any in, in any sport, so um, or any category of motorsport. So, and you know, I'm when, sure you're when you examining all while, those you, options you at this stuff. point. It's a uh, yeah. And I feel you too, man. I, I sometimes I feel like I can't run this show without a tool, and uh, I've got Here one sitting right next yeah. to me. <laughs> you know what they say: <laughs> Dra- drag Cover. racing is the only addiction that there's no uh, recovery from. Mm. Oh, you cannot yeah. stop the adrenaline. And it, well, it's just like anything else: jumping off, you know, out of planes or uh, surfing or anything I've else. Done, that gets I've done that, all that. I've gives you that high on life, and and Steve Johnson. Um, you know, he, well, he can't get high because he can't afford to eat anything, but if he... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, you can, you can burn calories. I'm telling you, if you, if you, uh, if you eat the right stuff and, and do the right things, it's just hard. It's hard burning calories when you sit at your desk and you're, you're doing PowerPoint proposals and, and, uh, you're on the phone. So it's, it's, right. it's hard to burn the calories when you're doing that, especially, uh, when it's snowing outside. So it's I, all, um, it's I got hooked up with Snap can- Fitness. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, sorry. Snap Fitness, uh, um, and, and I can run in there anytime you put you, you ran your, your badge across the door and it, it opens up and I'm in there at three o'clock in the morning sometimes, uh, you know, just doing a little program and, and getting out of there. So it's, uh, uh, muscle burns, burns, uh, calories way faster than, uh, than, um, Fat jaw jacking. Yeah. Oh, you mean working out, actually pumping iron rather than, uh, doing cardio, doing the, doing the treadmill? Well, the cardio is great for, for um, obviously, cardiovascular and, and uh, you know, uh, a rebounder helps your, your lymph nodes. And there's, there's all kinds of things that you can do that people don't even realize. In the morning, if you, if you take 30 seconds to just breathe right, everybody thinks, everybody, you tell everybody, hey, okay, everybody listen to this show right now. <clears throat> okay, this is what you do. I want you to take the biggest breath in the world that you can possibly take. All right. So everybody do it on the count of three. One, two, three. Take the biggest breath you can. <gasps> like that. Okay. Everybody, everybody's got their hands and their, <coughs> stomach, and their stomach went in, right? When you took yeah. the biggest breath you could, everybody's stomach Did it went chill? in. No. Did it go in? <laughs> Mine went out. My food baby Mine said nope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most people, when they take the biggest breath they possibly can, they inhale through their mouth and they inhale through their nose and they take the biggest breath, that, 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 that uh, their stomach goes in. And, and, and what that doing is, is that, that bread box or that, that organ inside there, that, that, that's going in. You're, you're pushing that together so it can't absorb as much air. So you, you got to control. You mean you're, you're, you're contracting your diaphragm? Yeah, I was going to say my stomach is slammed shut when I, I did was, that. And my point exactly. I've been trained to breathe into my diaphragm <laughs> as a performer. So I guess I'm exercising. You're all exercising. Wrong. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. wrong. Yeah, yeah. You need one of those belts then. Those extra the belts. My theater that training ex- is completely yeah. ruining my exercise regime. What I was gonna say is every morning when I wake up and I'm actually breathing, I just thank God I'm alive. Yeah. Nice. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I made it again. Yeah, I'm Who breathing. You? I, br- I can still. Eat- I got to do the radio show again this week. I can still eat a donut. I'm freaking awesome. Yeah, yeah right? maple bar. <laughs> yeah. I can't. I, I can stop at Cupid's and get and get me a hot dog, and then I can hit the 170 on ramp and start begging for money again. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I forgot to run down yeah. there and give you a couple quarters, man. I'm sorry. You know, I'll tell you what. I'll go get a corn dog and, and I'll throw it at you. Day. and I saw that guy. He was actually on the five on ramp um, uh, over on Paxton, and I'm like, hey man, why don't you go back to the street that you had before? 
and don't come to my turf. I've been working this, I've been working this on ramp here right. for about a year now, and I feel like I got my own customer base. That's you know, it's I'm getting a couple of bucks a day, and this guy tried to hone in on my deal. Tenacity. Wow. <laughs> Daddy needs a new pair of shoes for his motorcycle. Get your damn corn dog and get the hell out. Right? I need corn dog budget. <laughs> Am I ever going to meet Steve we Johnson? Need a, we need a corn dog sponsor, corn. don't we? Yeah, we do. Oscar yeah. Meyer, we're there calling you your name, baby. A dog on his and anal bead. We need anal bead and corn dog sponsor now. Uh, <laughs> speaking of sponsors, actually, I think we do. We I think we we should do something real quick. And uh, I don't know if you've heard either, but we're gonna do we're gonna do a quick plug for our friend David, David Lyons. Lyons. Yeah, yeah. But this is a good cause, man. And uh, you know, if you listen to the show, you know we 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 tell it how it is, and we are actually getting behind David Lyons with Bishop Lyons Entertainment. He's doing the MS Fitness Challenge. Troy, tell us a little bit. Not more. getting behind with corn dogs, but you know we are actually supporting uh, the cause. We've got this humongous event that uh, that we're supporting. In fact, it's going to be down in San Diego. And we've mentioned this prior to this uh, to the show, uh, May eighteenth, and uh, we've got a number of very very. With the MS, but to thrive, and 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 David Lyons has the method and the ways to make people thrive with MS. And in fact, we're actually holding a boot camp, but it's a, essentially not just a boot camp; it's a, an entire street festival that we're blocking off. And this is going to be something pretty spectacular. Again, it's May 18th of this year, and we've got a number of high-profile people that are already backing us. And this right here is going to be something pretty monster. So to get involved, very simply, just go to msfitnesschallenge.org. Or it's you can, .com, actually. It's just .com. No, it's yeah. .com. Is it .com? Yeah, I haven't seen any org. .org. Yeah, msfitnesschallenge.org. Or .com. And, uh, and then there's also muckfestms.com. Right. And, or you can go to Bishop Lyons, uh, dot com or even contact us at, uh, you can contact one of us at, uh, at Excite Radio. T Yeah, T at XMLA, uh, dot com. And then we'll give you more information. You definitely want to be a part of this. We've already got Red Bull. We've got, uh, Quest Core. We've got Buffalo Wild Wings. We've got Gold's Gym. Uh, we've got, uh, Social Cycle. That is jumping in. We've got Queens Rank, the, uh, the, the Rudy Sarso. Uh, we've got Babylon AD, and we've got a number of other people that are jumping in on board. This is not going to be a small event. This is a massive event. And David Lyons, Bishop Lyons, Enter Bishop Lyons Entertainment, the creator of Duck Dynasty, Hell's Kitchen, Kitchen Nightmares. You all know what he does. He's also afflicted with MS, and we're behind uh, this this project 100. percent and uh, we're gonna we're gonna be announcing this every show until that event date, which we will also be broadcasting live from that event. That event, and we will also have it live uh, television footage, which will essentially be part of the documentary, Holy which will Holy. go into the big screen of the life of David Lyons. Um, so, so we're clear. Uh, this is not an Excite Radio or Excite Studios production. We are simply backing David Lyons and right. Bishop Lyons Entertainment on this on this project and. There are a number of very huge, uh, not only celebrities, but also uh, you yeah. know, corporate sponsors Celsius. and whatnot. But, but it's a good cause, and basically what it comes down to is people with MS very, very, very often do not have the money or their insurance company will not cover Correct. their uh, physical therapy uh, due to the, uh, to the you know, symptoms of this uh, disease. So, so by contributing to this event, you are also um, basically giving, a, you're, you're generating a fund that will pay for the physical therapy that's involved. But let's, um, let's, let's, get, again, we, let's we, get real with it, though. I mean, obviously, in order to get involved, you're going to be part of a, of a much bigger spectacle. We all have our own selfish reasons why we're doing this. 
Uh, you know, listen, we're not all, me. I'm doing it purely out of the goodness of my heart, man. Really? Well, let me tell you, when you're actually approaching sponsors out there, listen, they want to find out what's what's going to be in it for them. And this is something that we also have Muckfest. If you guys don't know about Muckfest, this is where you jump in the mud with all the little hotties and stuff. You're throwing mud and having drinks and having <laughs> right. a blast. So, listen, if all the other things that, that I mentioned before you aren't tantalizing, guess what? There's also a number of, of Hall of Fame and professional football players down there, especially down in San Diego. You got some Hall of Fame uh, football legends that are coming down there that you can actually meet, get your autographs. Uh, you know, a number of you know they'll sign your face. You know, there's a number of things that they'll, they'll do for you. I gotta ask Steve actually. Steve, you like girls in bikinis all covered in mud? Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Huh? nice. I'm gonna take Steve down there. I'm gonna ride him like a surfboard in that mud, dude. <laughs> Will you? He's gonna be a skimboard. I, I want you know. In fact, I'm, I'm more than willing to jump in the mud as long as Silverbank is gonna go ahead and, and uh, kind of team up with this one. We'll do a special shirt, just me and you. It's great promotion for both of us man it's me the gorilla doing you know riding you like a skim board on the on on the on the wake of a of a of a mud wave and riding you're me like, on the skim yeah no i'm like skimming around Not on digging the mud on it so far cuz i don't want to get yeah well i don't want to get it muddy you know <laughs> I want to skip across the top of this thing, end up on the other side where all the people are coming out covered in mud. Just you know, need, you need I grabbed the girl. first muddy girl. You need we, to use a girl without the big boobs. How about we right. just do like a tandem right we're riding someone else, you know, and then not me. You want to come back to <laughs> That's what I'll tell them. That's David your... Lyons, Bishop oh. Entertainment. So MS back Fitness to the series. Challenge. <laughs> no, the we're series, not doing guys. that anymore. We've already done enough of that. All Steve right. Johnson's on the line. We appreciate your call, man. Uh, once again, ooh, we've got somebody else chiming in. Hey, go ahead and answer that. Yeah. Ooh, or not. What? Uh... This is Silverback. Welcome to the Gorilla Cookie Radio Show. Who's that? Uh, Sam Croy. Ooh. Hey, Sam. How you doing? Do I know? Oh Sam? my God! Is is that Joe Reitman? Yes, it is. Ooh, Who's he's so sexy. Shit. <clears throat> he should oh be the God. real gorilla. Man, you got some fans He's out here. He's the silverback all the way, up? man. That's oh, why I call that. him in. He Three looks, phone calls and I got one. Oh, my one. God. The only people who call in is oh. Steve Johnson. and T uh, Tell and, us how excited you are to be talking to Joe. Besides myself. <laughs> I mean, you, you don't understand how lucky you are to have this guy on your show because... Honestly, this he's made such amazing movies. Like all my friends have seen the movies that he's been in, and I was so fortunate. This gentleman, uh, I bumped into him at uh, what was that place? Snowflake. Snowflake. And I'm like, yeah, Snowflake. I don't know if you remember me. I'm that crazy. Yes, attorney. I remember you, Sam. I do remember you. Yes. This oh is an God, interesting is so turn awesome. of events. Because We've got a caller calling in for Joe. Before you do that, just let's be nice and let's say hi to Steve Johnson, who's an NHRA uh, uh, professional uh, drag bike racer. And we've also got Ron and Andy Durham, who are have brought their... Superstars. Uh, their, uh, yeah, exactly. They've, they brought their drag pack challenger with the Viper motor in it, just for our viewing <laughs> pleasure. And, uh, mm -hmm. of course, I'll be driving that bad boy home tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness! Yeah, yeah, you you're, you you are in the midst of greatness. Uh, tell us more about Joe. Yeah, tell us about this Joe. Is so <laughs> freaking oh interesting. Well, I've met, oh, you know, I've met. Go I'm, ahead, explain I'm to them. I apologize. No. Tell them who I, I am. Have to put, I have to you put tell them. In here because I've met the president of the United States, uh, Obama, Bush, Bush uh, senior and junior, and I have to say, Joe Reitman is the most humble celebrity I've ever met. I mean, he'll actually talk to you. You're and almost straight. a cross between the two. He's got the hair of Obama and the whiteness of Bush. Of he's he's not dry <laughs> like either, but yeah. you know he's definitely got some pull in the. Uh, in I like the to Hollywood. think of myself as a little bit more like Clinton if I have to pick a president. Ooh, oh, yes. oh, okay. Oh, but, wow. Uh, I, mean, I, I was in. Yeah, I was in. This so ice one man place. plays the corn dog he's thing, and the other guy plays the cigar. I that's play the cigar. That's, right. that's way more. That's correct. Yes, it is. That, that is, is right. correct. <laughs> that is correct. I mean, I said, yes. Go on. Yeah, yes, Another sir. Southern boy, I'm huh, Steve? I, I, I'm honestly telling you, the moment I posted that uh, I, he was nice enough to accept me on his Facebook, instantly I got like a hundred friends overnight just because Joe Reitman. Uh, added me to his friends list. Man, you need to really? come out here and get on your knees. I'm yeah. saying. <laughs> is this a friend of yours? I'm, I'm not kidding you. Everybody knows who he is. I mean, they love all the movies. The, 
uh, Jay and uh, Salem, I mean, they know all this, the uh, uh, perfect storm, they know all this lady in the water. I mean, all my friends, they're like... Never heard of them. You're like... Oh. Oy no. vey, come on now. Ah, maybe you've seen some of my other You know, work. we all have our stalkers out there. Steve, uh, do you have any stalkers in the NHRA? No, no I'm not a stalker. I'm, no, I'm, I know I'm you're not a stalker, married. honey. We're having a conversation here. It can't be all you. <laughs> you want to tell us how great Joe is? I love it's that. I'm just saying. Yeah, I know. I, I, I think I met her in an ice cream place in Vegas. I no. walked in. She was with her two kids. And, no and, and yep, no snowflakes. snowflakes. And I walked in, and she immediately was like, "Oh my god!" And she knew my my credits. Yeah, not the ones that you know, Jason. Uh, like no. like Black Hawk Down and, and uh, Lord of the Cockroaches. Right. Or something you know. <laughs> no, no. That. What are you talking about? I've got those on my phone right now. Right. I can yeah. Play them at will. Right. I'm the gay por- video. Right. right. The gay porn where I make most of my money. <laughs> But uh, yeah, but she recognized. I just had to, I just to call in and say he's the most down to earth celebrity I've met, and God bless him for that. Right. Because in this day and age, a lot of people make you feel like quote unquote a stalker just because you say hi to them. Mm. And this mm. is what makes Joe Reichman as popular as he is today, and he's going to continue you're, his popularity. You're very sweet. I know how to pick. I know how to pick the winning people, and I'm telling you, this guy. I even tweeted to Oprah about him. Oh, really? Said, this guy is the real deal. Hell yeah. Well, that's Hell very yeah. sweet. Thank you very much. It's very kind of you to say. Thank you. Hopefully How somebody will. How do you pick a new house? Person? Well, I agree with you, actually. Were you down there getting the ice cream for after the shoot? or What? Yeah, when I was, I was there? Yeah, you know. When I was in Vegas? Yeah. You know, it was freezing out, and I had a deep desire for ice cream, and I yeah. found some at 2 <laughs> in the morning. Saying, was it was it for after the porn shoot? Or? It was after the porn shoot. I was I was having a craving for some cream in my face. Your ass was hurting. And your... Right, so I went to the ice cream place. Yeah. Snowflake. I know, just, you got it. It was just ice cream, though. There was no, like, chocolate chunk. I put a little chocolate on You chocolate. did? Oh, man, that's hot. I drizzled it. Yeah? I did. I'm not calling you well, a stalker, not at all. You're a fan, and I appreciate that. Actually, uh, you are. Uh, I, I hope you that what, you. I hope you actually so- like the Gorilla Cookie uh, Radio Show page because uh, we'd love to have you back anytime. It, uh, you know, we'll, and I'm sure we'll have Joe back too. I and just will. so everybody knows, oh, yeah. now, he's, he's we like super, to talk a lot of crap. But we, we, we're not of that, uh, serious. He still can draw in the young girls. I mean, those girls at the counter of Snowflake, they couldn't have been older than 20 years. That's true. And they were yeah. just like. They were all over him. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. No, I literally, I don't know what it charisma. is. He's got charisma. He's got charisma. He's got appeal. Yes, he does. He very, must. He must have some. I want to shake his dick right now. He's. A, yeah, I know he. he uh, we. I. We, I am not going to get into those away, purple things. <laughs> it's getting too late in the game for this. And and you know what? It's already eight forty-seven. We came in seven minutes late. Holy crap! We've got another ten minutes to go. Although I think we may jump right into the. Uh, the sex, drugs, and hip hop segment because God knows there's nobody around here to run it. And besides that, somebody burned us on almost ten minutes of our show. So yeah, no kidding. Well uh, yeah, well, you know, well, seven Ms. minutes Ryan, of not I just getting on the show. To say thank you for giving me the opportunity to honestly sing your praises because you're genuine. You're the real deal, and I just wish you all all the luck in your future endeavors. Okay, sir. Well, thank I'm you. I'm going to go ahead much. and. Yeah. Well, log thank, off uh, on this, and because uh, I have two screaming kids, I have yeah. to attend to. Well, so, thank you. Thanks so much. Uh, hopefully, but, hopefully, somebody who can hire me heard you just say that. So yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> well, <laughs> tell them how nice I am, so I can get lips, hired. From my lips to God's ears, I tell you, I'm going to tweet Oprah again. This right. is wonderful. From your lips to Spielberg's ears, let's just even do that one. <laughs> That'll work for me. I'll tell you what. Hey, Steve, are you still out there, or do you get bored of this conversation? Or are you still texting your chick? <laughs> You're, I know how you are. I, You're like, oh, thank God, I don't have to talk I, anymore. Let me get on back onto the sexting. <laughs> it was Steven Spielberg. Yeah, Steve. No, it's it, it's Steve Johnson. It's actually a more appealing last name. We, if you we, ask we me. went to different schools together uh, with Steven Spielberg. So uh, um, I'm uh, I'm I'm not as tight as he is with Oprah. But um, hey, I love uh, I love you're passionate about enough to to pick up the phone and get involved and. Dial and talk and yeah, I appreciate that too, only, man. Only That's for great the for best. Only for the best. I have very little time, but I tell you, I was super impressed with Joe Reitman. I'm telling you. <laughs> Thank you. So far, I am too. And you know, I agree. I tell you, on this, and I love his hair after too. After the passing, yeah. after the passing of a great like Sid Caesar, yeah. we have to learn to appreciate the true artists in our midst. No. Well, he was a great for sure. <laughs> like Clinton, <laughs> just he was for sure. I will say Sid Caesar was very talented. Let me ask you: Do you know who Danica Patrick is? 
Yeah, Danica, that uh, lady driver. Yeah, what do you think? Danica, my daughter wants to be her. Mm. So girls are into She's her. She's only five Maybe years old. Maybe not women. Yeah, but your your but, daughter's not on the air. What 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 what's your opinion? You 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 describe to us what greatness was. You have so much passion about talking about Joe. You know, I know it's in I know it's in your soul. So you, you got one end of the spectrum. We don't know what the negative end of the spectrum is. We don't want to hear about it if we don't have to. But where, what's your opinion on on the girl driver, or do you just not know enough about it to have opinions? No, I know a little bit of Danica uh, uh, Kilpatrick, but uh, from what little I know of her, I know that uh, she is very devoted to her sport. And <sighs> is, is she the uh, lady car race driver? Yeah, <laughs> that in, would in be fact, true. yeah, maybe a maybe a maybe a better question to ask would be: What do you like better, NHRA drag racing or NASCAR, where they just go in circles? I apologize, but I have to be very honest with you. It's uh, my husband loves uh, NASCAR, but for me, it's got to be the drag racing because, you know, that's when you really see the power shooting through the gate and the, uh, the, the there's so much science behind drag racing and people don't understand. I'm also a physics major. I, I uh, double majored in chemistry and biology. And as, she's a uh, lawyer, female. right? You're a lawyer, aren't you? That's right. I'm the lawyer. I'm the one who went off to law school. My specialty is intellectual property, but I also, you could say I minored in physics, but People don't realize the science and the intelligence you have to get those crotch rocks to shoot right out of the gate and have the kind of power that you need. And that, to me, is very exciting. So that's how I feel if you're you know, describing my passion for drag racing. As far as NASCAR is concerned, you know, pretty much it's just, you're right, you're running around laugh. That's also a very... I have a lot of, you know, my husband likes NASCAR. I'm not going to talk NASCAR down. That's his own sport, and it has his own fan base. But if I had to pick, it'd definitely be drag racing. Why am I in trouble? Yeah, no, you're definitely in trouble. We're 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 cutting you off. You're never allowed to call again. <laughs> yeah. No, what? Uh, actually, I think that um, maybe if anything, I could ask I could ask you as well whether you think there's something that NASCAR is missing that might fill in the gaps between NASCAR and NHRA? Oh, well, it's just, it's got to have sex appeal. I apologize, but there's not, you know, it's, it's not like drag racing. You know, basically, I apologize for using not at such all. crude not language, at all. but it's like, you know, a penis shooting out kind of situation, where yeah. as NASCAR, it's a big square you know, a car running around loose. So, uh, I apologize for making it crass, but it's got to have more sex appeal. If I if I make my point, would you say that they have a greater stage in NASCAR because you've got that big field? Therefore, you can have almost like a halftime show. You've got celebrities involved. It's a lot more drawn out. It's uh, you know, it's 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 not so okay. Yeah, blah blah blah. You're you know you're chit chatting in the in the in the stands. You're 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 in and amongst a bunch of guys that are basically motorheads. They're they're you know drinking beers and and talking cars and motors and stuff. And you know I I could see where that would probably be boring for a, a girl, even though there are more girls involved with it nowadays than there were in the past. Which is something I think you know if they took that if they took that basic formula. And went forward with it, which was something that I was thinking. I don't. Know, what about that, Steve? Maybe you could chime in on that a little bit. I mean, you've got you know a track, especially an NHRA track, is is pretty bare bones. I mean, there you you've got a starting line and a finish line, and a bunch of people sitting on the sides of it, and there's not a hell of a lot going on besides you know foot long corn dogs. Uh, besides that, so going forward, I mean, you you want to. I mean, if you want to stay in the sport, maybe um, maybe the idea behind a, 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 a career move would be to generate more interest in it a, across the, the sex lines by creating more of a show that everybody can get into, a more family-oriented show rather than a bunch of, you know, motorheads that are basically just, you know, it's, it, it's, it's definitely a scene in that sense. It's not, it's not like NASCAR. You... You don't have uh, you know black eyed peas coming out there and you know doing a doing a dance and singing a song for the show. It's you know it's it's more just cut to the cut to the chase, cut to the you know the race. That's it. 
Yeah, you look at society, you, society you know, you, you look at what the most powerful show is on TV. The and NFL, uh, right? t typically it's going to be the, uh, until, until just some of the reality shows, people love watching drama. People love winning. They, they, uh, they, they love, you know, seeing the American Idol and the voice and, and seeing all those competitions and crowning the winner. You know, our sport is so cool because every couple of minutes there's a new winner. So, so we, we move down that road and, and give, and give uh, arguably what society wants is we give them a different winner all the time. You know, you go out in the manufacturer's row and you can see all kinds of different things from, you know, uh, how the Army supports our, and protects our freedom all the way to, to food, the most food you could ever imagine. And then, and then any kind of performance products in between with, with even, you know, now this Traxxas, this Traxxas is out there, uh, you know, with their, car, with their cars and, and all kinds of entertainment. So, you know, when the guy jumps out of the plane and, and, and lands with the American flag and, and, the, uh, and, the, and the fans are interviewed in between sessions, in between rounds of racing, the, uh, you know, and talked about, you know, what they like, they're asked questions, they win prizes up in the grandstands. And then, you know, all of a sudden everybody goes back to the pit area and in 75 minutes, they take apart an engine that makes 8,000 horsepower, takes every single piston and cylinder head off it and puts the whole thing back together. And within 75 minutes is out on the racetrack doing a burnout and racing again. You know that element is really powerful. So it, it it's like it we, we could tweak it, and and thank God we have girls racing. Thank God we have the most ethnicity in any other sport, any other motorsport on the planet. But it's uh, you know, it, we, there's so much going on. I don't know how we could do any more. Uh, I I I wouldn't disagree with you there. Actually, I think that you guys, if for on paper, should be on the winning side of the equation. Uh, however, I think that maybe if anything, and I, again, everything that you're saying, I'm 100% behind outside of when they fire up those, uh, those, those, uh, nitro alcohol cars or whatever, and you got all those fumes going and they can clear a crowd with that, that, that exhaust, man, it makes your eyes burn and your skin burn and everything else. But yeah, no doubt. I mean, but it's a spectacle. It's, it's a, a spectacle. Burn. I mean, it's it, a good burn. Yeah, it's a, yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, if you're, you know, I don't want to be uh, a, a controversial with Steve, but we're losing manufacturers. Manufacturers Row had a, got, a goddamn car show in the middle of it because there were seven, there were seven 18 wheelers missing. We don't have the right formula. NASCAR gets 200,000 people. We have to figure out a way to attract people or we don't get sponsors. Yeah. Sponsors are making the sport. I don't know. I'm, a, right. I'm an underdog guy at right the there. end of the day. I'm an underdog uh, guy. I'm always going to go for the underdog. And, and you know, NASCAR's already made it. That's the, no question. They're, 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 they're there. And anybody who's going to that side, you can't blame them. I mean, uh, whether it be sponsors or, uh, you know, even racers. But uh, I would love to, uh, you know, be involved on, on any level and, you know, just get the cogs turning on what, what, what sort of changes could be made where you could cross the aisle so to speak and and make it more of a it's it, at the end of the day it comes down to entertainment i mean not everybody that's going to the baseball game is going to, to watch them play ball they want to you know drink beer and sit in the stands and check out the crowd and you know just get involved in the excitement right. but it's all about the entertainment that's they're yeah, there you gotta for get, a show you gotta engage you gotta engage the 17 to 24 year olds you gotta keep the the diehards excited and and um, you know, one of the things that I was suggesting is is the is the stalkers, you know, the 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 real OEM cars. You know, a lot of people say that they can't relate to a pro stock car because it's not the car you can go buy. And right. it, and the stalkers, you know, I, I want to be able to put a stock class, the high performance, like the coolest cars on the street, and put them in between top fuel and funny cars. So right when the stands are as packed as they are are going to be, I want to be able to put a class that everybody can relate to. And I want to be able to promote that class. I don't want to just be able to run those cars down the drag strip. I want to be able to promote that class. I want to be able to really create something and then take that, that atmosphere, take that creation and market that and market that to the 17 to 24 year olds and, and create that in an auto shop avenue and with the tech school students and even the magnet schools and, and, you know, get back a little bit to, uh, to, to what drag racing is about, the performance and, and, and working on your own car and, and even before all the sponsors get involved. And then, and then when you have the enthusiasm of the fans, 
then more sponsors will come. And, it, and it's in my view that it's a, it's a little bit of a reciprocating motion. But I believe we have to go out and repackage some of the segments of our sport and target those segments to the right demographic of people that want to pay attention to that and can be in, enthusiastic about it and be involved. Absolutely. You know, I, can, I can tell you one thing. My husband is a big stock car guy, and if you can make that work, if you can make that formula work, you will win over NASCAR fans. And you're right. You will if you build it, they will come. If you hey go guys, ahead and execute uh, that plan, they will come and I'm telling you, you will attract all the sponsors you need, all that fan base you need. We're telling That's them Joe Reitman's plan. coming down. Yeah. Hey, before we get cut off and the next show comes on, we wanna thank you guys for joining us. Uh again, we've got Steve Johnson. Uh we've got Joe Reitman's biggest fan on the line right now. She's chiming in from the uh female perspective. We thank you very much for that. Joe Reitman himself, you, uh, who we will be sending straight to the top of NHRA for all the promotional uh, <laughs> potential that you could possibly get. Sweet. Gain. Yeah, and he's got the biggest factors oh, yeah. out there. Oh, yeah. yeah, he does. It, yeah, and just, Mr. Reitman does that. You will not believe the crazy amount of fans he's going to bring in. Hey, you know what? You won't believe the crazy wife? amount of ass beating that I'm going to get if I don't get off the radio right now. Once again, we're going to thank Andy and Ron uh, Durham for bringing their car out. We're going to take some po pictures outside, post them on the website. For me, Silverback and Tularantula, we are the Gorilla Cookie Radio Show. Love Thank you. you all. And happy Valentine's, everybody. Thank we'll you take you out Love with you Killer, Killer Valentine by Deafness by Noise. Thanks. <laughs> right. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thanks.
Thank you for joining us on the Gorilla Cookie Radio Show. Until next week.
they do you know what uh we just go ahead and kind of fumble around till we figure it out so okay so we're talking about your minions my what your minions, minions. your oh, yeah. your, your slaves minions. if you will <laughs> why are they your slaves like what what, uh, what are mean, these okay. you can have all kinds of slaves though you of know what i mean can. i have some people that just bring me food like, <laughs> that's all they do i've never touched them that's all that it is right I have sexual slaves right then I have slaves that just roll up weed sometimes and shit. Whenever they come into town and shit, just That's... sit in the corner, not say nothing, just roll up weed. Ma, I'm glad you said that because you know what? I've always wondered about that. You know, I mean, I mean, when you go get ready, when you get ready to go live, you're in the green room, getting ready to, to to go on. Is there anything that you require before you actually go on? I know people like green M and M's and and buckets <laughs> of ranch dip and stuff. A lot I of mean, weed. A lot of weed. Yeah, weed is everywhere I go. Yeah. Weed. Yeah, that's, yeah, purple, that's good. Man. I like purple. that. Okay, I, I I can get down with that. <laughs> so what I wanted to do here is actually go ahead and feature slave ship. Let's do it. Want to do it? Let's do it. 
get criticized the way I see it though I was hey, listen, that's you actually know, featuring Lucy B, by the way. Shout outs to Lucy B. She's doing yeah. a fast. Lucy definitely. B, that was amazing. I, I told good. her that. The I mean, I that's. I text her like an hour ago. And I forgot. Yeah, I, I mean, that, sense. you know, <clears throat> that is pretty darn amazing. Let me, okay, so your influences. I mean, you grew up, you know, uh, pretty much everywhere. Okay, so you, you know, you got into the hip hop thing. You knew you, you had yourself a very special talent. Who influenced you? I mean, what, uh, you know, what really brought it out of you and saying, you know, to make you say, wow, actually, I'm, I'm digging on that. I kind of like, like that. It's a very sound. common question. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, boilerplate. It's a very legit <laughs> question, too. Yeah. Um, I mean, the people that I listen to, I listen to everything. Uh -huh. But the things that influence me aren't, like, really artists. They're more like um, historical figures and philosophers and scientists and physicists. And that's really what where my writing stems from. Mm -hmm. Now, in terms of genre, I listen to Waka Flocka. I listen to Gucci Man. I listen to ASAP Ferg. I'm listening to Jay-Z. I'm listening to all that stuff. But We're going to have Jay-Z like, on here I later on down the line, too, by the way. Question. We got, yes. yeah. I want to ask you, <clears throat> what do you think of creation? Oh, uh. Cool. That's interesting. She's cool, yeah. I mean, I actually have no type of negative feelings towards any type of female rappers out there. Yeah, it's I hard like, to be a female <laughs> yeah, rapper. That's cool. Because I feel hard like to everyone's doing their own rapper. thing. Everyone has their own lane. Everyone has their own direction and their own style. And you can't really knock anybody for doing it because there's a lot of people that could knock me for saying and doing what I do. Yeah, I like well, nasty you know, rappers. Like, yeah. like nasty chick rappers. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, like yeah, Pink I'm, Dollar will be here on Thursday. And I can do all yeah, of we them. got Pink Dollars coming in here. Nice. Um, you know, <laughs> we got the whole crew coming well, out here. 
talking uh, about nasty, but, right? But, but, but you know what, though? Exactly. But you know, I know what? But, 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 but there's a. I ain't say no names. Let me just. Maybe. But I don't necessarily hear that. I mean, I'm not hearing, like, some, like, really, you know, like the, the old two live crew style. I mean, it, it sounds to me like you actually have some formula without having to go over the top saying, you know, F this and F oh, that. The way and, she says it is, like, it's so dope, well man. She, yeah. Yeah. She, she knows how to wrap the, cre- uh, the present properly. You know? Right. Ooh. You know, right. yeah. she, she's not like me. She's not just putting scotch tape out. And, yeah, <laughs> it's looking nice and yeah. decent. But I mean, is there someone in particular that that really kind of stands out that you say, "Wow, that person was you know, you know, highly highly influential." Missy Elliott. Missy Elliott. Missy hey. Elliott. Like all the super. She friends. needs to be Timbaland. on. I be the kid. There you go. Timbaland, like Aaliyah, and Missy Elliott. Okay. All three. Missy of them Elliott needs yeah. to be on. I be the kid. This whole album. Uh, okay. Whole wow. Album. That's amazing. Like, I listen to them nonstop. I still listen to them. Super friends. Wednesday. And we're going to have you back on uh, later on down the line if, if it's okay with you. We'd love to get you on uh, and, uh, and, you know, and, and really kind of bolster this thing because we have a lot of uh, different outlets and venues and we really want to make sure that, that people are hearing this. This is a Sunday segment, so kind of off the cuff because typically, you know, uh, the sex, drugs, and, uh, and hip-hop segment will run on Thursday. So this right here will be, you know, essentially a two-hour segment. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be overlapping. And so the this other is hour is going to be about sex. Right, exactly. Yay. And if you guys are into sex, and, and hey, we're that, coming back. We're and that, coming porn back. <laughs> that's our forte. If you guys need advice, holla. That's and it is, in fact, you know, it, it really does encompass everything. I mean, hip hop is definitely a very important aspect of the show. But of course, what can we do without sex? And the drugs part as well, right? Because, you know, listen. Sex hey, oh. and drugs are two of the most amazing Sex things. Sex is a drug. And then you add rock and roll into that fucking equation. Thank you. Boy, you got mall nicks. Exactly. <laughs> I'm there. I'm there. Book me. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do here, in fact, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, I, I would love to do another one of your... Uh, uh, Let's do I Be The Key. Yeah, you want to do I Be The Key? Right we're shooting there. the video for I Be The Key on This is Thursday. the first single, officially. I, I want to do this. So let's let's go ahead and uh, let's throw this thing on. Everyone, listen Official. In. This time it's real. Bitches be like, I just spawn up on it like your boy. Bitches be like, baby girl, you smoke that marijuana. I tell that bitch for sure, and do you fuck around with Madonna? She say I do a little bit and drink a little too. Get that better beats, pure bro. Black clouds, these pigeons on they high horse Been doing this for centuries before this fucking time warps yeah. My corpse ain't gon' be the ending of me Cause I be the key like locking me hand in hand while like off we This nigga wanna fuck the on me I fuck him and dump him before he dump me And I pop pills so I be like ooh I'm the type of bitch you wanna fuck him in Peru I'm the type of bitch who sees atmospheres Diabolical, pain pills strong, we tropical And I never let a bitch take my pod to go And I never let a nigga make my mind in fall They say I got a brain like I'm rising All I see the dark side through my eyes are cold I see Pluto, Saturn, mind control Don't know what's next, take steps like a blind that's bold Arch my back a little bit Crawling out these woods Blood on my tongue, blood on my teeth Blood in my drink, blood in my reef I'm the ending achiever From me to love on a sleeper From me while I'm getting deeper Come through the night like a reaper Taking these skulls, nigga, that's mine Some call me key, some call me divine So many places I'm harder to find You be the lock, but I be the design You be the lock, I be the key, I be the key. You be the lock, I be the key, you be the I'll be the key, I'll be that nigga that's flying the shit, and I'm so high I'll be higher than me. I'll be that nigga that's flying the shit, and I'm so high I'll be higher than me. You be the lock, I'll be the key, you be the lock, I'll be the key, you be the lock, I'll be the key, I'll be that nigga that's flying the shit, and I'm so high I'll be higher than me. I'll be that nigga that's flying the shit, and I'm so high I'll be higher than me. I'll be the diamond that's shining and flying from drugs to get rum, put me in a coma, sucking your blood like a dog to a donor. Always secluded, the stone of the lone, the spacecraft. Masquerade masks, gold caskets One side of my facets So the night I don't feel no blackness Triangular, the room is spinning Fairy dust, my nose, my gums Numb my soul like holes and nuts Too much of a pussy can't be my son Rise like lotus out the forest Muddy swamps but pure seduction Fuck these bitches, all they do is talk But I just came to function Hold that fucking liquid courage Inhale till I'm fly like birdies Howls neck, my brain is turning Blood is dripping, fire is burning I'll be the key like the light to a tree Like the light to a lighthouse that watches the sea Bite like a shark, spread like the sand Journey through earth, smoke in the land Shiver like a lizard, river slow like Texas scissors Skin so cold like windy blizzard Mind is magic like a wizard I be casting stuff
Is there a caller on the line? Is this the radio station? <laughs> You're on live with Tool Ranch, uh, Tool Ranch alone, sincerely on sex, drugs, and hip hop. Who is it? <laughs> hey, what's up, Frankie? Where are you calling from? Well, you know, we're we're grateful you're tuning in as you're making your deliveries. Uh, do you have a question here for uh, for Cassie Key? Yeah, well, who's this artist you're playing? It's some good shit. <laughs> oh, thank you. He said this is good shit. It I is. Love a- it. Where are you from, Frankie? I'm from West Covina, man. Oh, okay. West oh, Covina in the, in the house way. right now. Do <laughs> you have any family down south or something? <laughs> you know, I got all kinds of crazy shit going on. I got one in the West Coast. I got one in the South Coast. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's sure. what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, so- Oh, okay. Oh, you talking about your delivery? Oh, I got you. I got you. I lost for a second. My bad. My bad. Well, by, well. By the way, Frankie, the song that you were actually listening to was from Cassie Key, and the name of the song was "I Be, I the, the, be key. the Key." She is the key, though. I so want to do that. Shit, man. I like it. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> the album drops on the thirteenth. Keep on rocking. I want to hear some more of that shit. Keep playing because you're getting my girl. Keep listening. Going. Oh, we're getting you're getting line. a girl going, I hear. Wow, look at that, Uh-oh. Cassie. Wow. I do have a way. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, hey, Frankie, uh, we're gonna keep it going for you. Keep keep tuned in here. We've actually got a uh, few more songs that we're gonna go ahead and deliver to you. So uh, hopefully, we can warm up your evening. Uh, yeah, you can go into that like got my attention or something. You feel me? Well, yeah. what we really should be doing, Cassie, is letting everyone know out there exactly how they can be in touch with you. Oh man. Yeah, tell what them all your name? social media connections. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, you can go on YouTube.com backslash the Kessie G, SoundCloud.com backslash Kessie Griffin. I'm on DatPiff. I mean, basically, just Google my name and I'm everywhere. Twitter, at Kessie World. Instagram, at Kessie World. Once you follow, find follow, Kessie follow, World, follow, follow. you'll pretty much find everything else. <laughs> and just and, and if, before and before we leave here, we probably will buy KessieWorld.com. I'm, I'm being honest. You know we're right here. We might as well do it. And just to make sure that everyone is spelling this correctly, it is K E S S I E, and then it's K E E. Yeah, Kessie Key. Just so you know exactly. Anyone, what Spell Kessie, my brother. <laughs> What's up? He said something, my brother. So, yeah. hey. Yeah, I heard something, my brother. So, hey, hey. <laughs> How you doing, brother? Hey, I'm on the camera, so I had to give him the pump fist. <laughs> Awesome. Hey, well, Frankie, thank you very much for calling in, buddy. Keep tuning in, and we got some hey, more man, coming your way. Appreciate the love, Brody. Yeah, oh, yeah wow. thanks, guys. Have a good one. <laughs> this shit is like. Uh, from 2003 we've got uh, uh, this right here yeah. yeah actually this right here is called lord from oh, that was 2003 that's that 2003 yeah wow it's probably actually 2002 to tell you the truth okay so <laughs> i think we're gonna skip was... some commercials because we're in a lack of time and i, I yeah. want to hear a rap live really bad okay so is uh, uh is this something that we can put you on the spot Just for 30 seconds if that's it if you if we could put you on the spot cassie yeah. we'd love to hear you... you go live this would be something pretty special here for the masses okay yeah okay, okay. we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna tune down all the music and okay, you're gonna get it phone? live and exclusive from cassie key in it <sighs> is this thing on <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Triple B, triple six, triple all my money. I be trickling my money just to go and make more. Get in where you fit in, got a team of men and women. I'm a queen in my chair. You a slave on my floor. Mummies and pharaohs and sparrows and bone marrow in an Egyptian coffin full of sin. And I'm rising out licking my fangs while I'm moving my body so slow with a devilish grin. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. I tell you, she can't do no more, man. I love that. Oh, 
Oh my god. You gotta buy that shit. No, I don't wanna do the whole verse. No, it's okay. You gotta Thank buy you. that shit. But you know what though? I, I, that was, album is coming. That was magic. And just in short little doses, that was absolutely phenomenal. Why, thank you. That was wonderful. That was great. And I know that uh, those of, that, of you that have not actually heard from Maul quite uh, live, yes. right now. I got to put you on the spot just so we can okay. give uh, accolades where accolades are due. Because, Kessie, you know as well as I do, this man can pump it out. Oh, wow. Pump it out. Jack of all trades. Uh, Jack of all trades. Yeah. All right. Roll up, smoke up. Baby, where's the pull up? I got some Zannies, got some Nocos. We could get toe up. Maul Nick's new shit. Straight up out the West Coast. Got beats, got bars. Baby, get your growth up. Mm. So what? I'm getting faded. I'm handling my business. Mm. State to state, city to city. I'm getting richer. Sitting back, relax, painting a bigger picture while these niggas go ahead and try and get their dick up. <laughs> but hold up. <laughs> but, nah, but okay. All right. <laughs> no offense to nobody out there, but I've been doing this. You know that. So, like, yeah. when I play with it, it's just playing with it now at this point. You know what I mean? As far as rapping. But this is the, the real truth and the matter okay so just so i have clarity here as well okay so obviously you're working very close with cassie what, this is what, this what, is like is what this he, has been my life for like the last few months like honestly and yeah. i see it being my future too so like i want to just grow build and be able to get to the to the point i see you know where success really is you know what i mean right. to me selling a few records might be good but at the end of the day i want an overall success i want mm -hmm. her to be happy i want to be happy right. i want my team to be happy i want to provide a way not just for us but for other people you know what i mean is like i said it, it's it's bigger than me and i've understood that for a long time mm -hmm. i got great people around me good support so and I've been going through some bullshit lately, so you know it's good to have those people around. So without a doubt, yeah. without a doubt. Well, you know what? The the, the you're right. The, the support system is absolutely key, and we've all been through the roller coaster ride. 2014. I can just 2014. Feel it. Can you feel it? If your ass is comfortable, you ain't making progress, nigga. Period. There you go. Holla at right? you, boy. Get at me if you want to talk about anything. We talk about you know what I'm saying. We should do it that way. And just so we put this out there on the air as well, for all those that are tuning in right now and don't know the number to call in, the number is 213-973-2977. And again, we've got Kessie Key live with Aww. an exclusive on her album, Pure Blood, the gold album. Okay, so what what I want to do next, actually, if uh, if you don't mind, I want to go ahead. Uh, I'd like to play a little bit of this vibing. Okay, yeah, let's, let's do, do that. Let's do it. It's not all the way mixed, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> now what you me do what I do. I love it when you say what you say. You love it when I rap around your ways. I love the way you put me in my place. You love what you me do what I do. I love it when you say what you say. I love that in you play around. Yeah, you can go ahead and keep playing. Got my attention. We'll talk to us. You're on live on sex, drugs, and hip hop. Who do I got? I'm on live. Hey, you guys, it's Laura. Hey, what's is this my girl, Laura? Are you being <laughs> sweetie? I'm so impressed, Ma, dude. I miss you. Every time you come into the studio, you bring someone amazing. And hey, you, you know. did it again. Thank you so much. You, girl, you're great. Oh, thank my God. You. So good. <laughs> thank you. Thank <laughs> this you. is a show I'm going to watch over and over again. <coughs> Definitely. I wish I could That's be there. A, it's a surprise a Sunday. So uh, <laughs> when do I get to, to be uh, interviewed by you? Thursdays and Friday nights. Thursdays fact, and Friday you night. Should, you, guys you know what? So check this out. We're coming for... next Thursday. We'll do a double feature of the show and, like, get you in again. It, it, you're amazing. And also, every time you've brought someone to the studio, yeah, they've been incredible. Like, mm. your team you know, is great, mm. honestly. Like, you know, I try earth. and keep, you know, talented people who are motivated. Thank and you. that's the that's the main thing. And, you know, sometimes you... Your songs you... are incredible. You just put that live <laughs> you. like you wouldn't believe. Like, none of... No one can do that. <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I love it. It's I love really... it. <laughs> I can't wait to see you, so I'm going to be looking forward to seeing you on Thursday. It's getting kind of Man. tough to to, uh, to be in here with his head getting so big right now. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, don't sit, in, hey, don't sit behind me. <laughs> you ain't going to be able to see shit, nigga. <laughs> 
You ain't seeing nothing. <laughs> not nan, not a thing. And for all those out there that do not know who is on the line, this is Miss Laura Penn. She's actually the sidekick to Sin. Seriously, on Sex, Drugs, and Hip Hop on Thursdays at 9 o'clock. So just so everyone knows out there, she will be here this upcoming Thursdays. In fact, she'll be here with Pink, uh, Pink Dollars as well. When will Ann Lou be in here? And Lou will on be Fridays? Yeah, he'll be here on Fridays. Yeah. Yeah. So shit, we coming out here Friday. Thursday and Friday. And Friday. Early, yeah. early though. <laughs> early though. <laughs> Earlier the better. You gotta show up for the party. Exactly. And you know what? And this... Tiffany, by the way, you look beautiful tonight, too. Oh, thank you. Oh, Over there. Yeah. Really yeah. Good. <laughs> really Love you. You should see her neon yellow pants. They're actually quite sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can kind of see it, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Stand up. Let, let the, there you go. Can you see him? See, I love That's when right. you can just <laughs> interact with people like this and shit in multiple countries. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's not offensive. I'm not. I'm just having fun. I'm sorry. I'm getting loaded. My bad. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. Rewind. 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 <laughs> well, did you have a question, uh, Laura? Do you want to uh, ask Cassie? Oh, gosh. Okay, like, uh, do you Twitter? Do you Facebook? Mm-hmm. Just from yourself? Do you have a Facebook page? Hey, Laura, we, you follow me. You? I, know you I just SoundCloud. <laughs> I yeah, just... yeah, yeah. Twitter is at Kessie World. Uh, same as Instagram, at Kessie World. Facebook, uh, the fan page is backslash Kessie Griffin. The personal cool. page is the backslash personal page. official Kessie. Mm. All you got to do to find her personal Ooh. page is look at my last post. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. From now on, it's probably going to be nothing but Kessie that I'm posting about. So, <laughs> fuck you. This is my and life. And in small letters. In the very, it's like one of those warning labels. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm the, like the caution label. I'm the claws at the bottom. I'm the shit that you can't read. <laughs> you better put your glasses on. Uh, forget it. I'll just sign it. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to have serious repercussions for you, sir. <laughs> oh, man. I'm trying to tell you that Mall Nix is just straight <laughs> Well, one thing I want to, I really, I'm super curious about this, too, is, I mean, you got some great, great uh, music out there. You have a, a fabulous album, and we're so grateful See, to actually have the exclusive on this. Thank you performances where are you gonna be at oh man we're about to do a lot of big things right now i'm about to reconnect with the people that you guys knew me when i was yeah. up and at them and shit so i'm, right, I'm right. going back with those promoters and right. we're gonna see if i can take off from where i left off okay and you know start doing like house of blues just doing the bigger venues right, right. i can't i can't sacrifice her talent and my talent together let me ask you though, if you hole. had an opportunity, now I mean, if we do a small venue, uh, we gonna pack that motherfucker out. You know what I'm saying? That's what right. I'm talking about. Like I want it to be intimate at that point. But right now we're we're trying to get to a point to where it's here. Right. So when we do those small events, it's more to it than just doing the small event. Yeah, it's yeah. it's right. the love of the music. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna sell out. Yeah, we're gonna make our money. Yeah, right. we're gonna sell merchandise. That's that's the name of the game. We're not in this to not make money. We're in this to make money we're off all of capitalists. what we love to do. You we are all I mean? capitalists, but at what at what stake? And what? I just <clears throat> say people in like the underground scene that we've been a part of mm-hmm. It's not our scene. You feel me? It's like, oh, no, we do it for the love of the music. We all say that at the end of the day, we need to pay bills. Trying to cake up. Without you a see doubt. You what I'm saying? And so we let's translate just, our profits uh, from talent. You know what I mean? So. Let me throw a hypothetical at you. Mm. Let's do it. Okay, so let's just say that Kia approaches you. And by the way, Kia, that right there is a potential slot for an advertisement. Uh, if- <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll ride a Kia to the wheels fall off, nigga. I- Hey, but no offense, I'll take off all your insignias and shit. It ain't gonna say Kia nowhere on that motherfucker. Like <laughs> you gonna you gonna put a nickel. This is gonna be nickel. Pay attention, Kia. That right there was was probably one of the best promos you could ever have right there. I'm trying to tell you, man, but I'll ride that motherfucker till the wheels fall. Off. I'll dunk over a Kia. I'm not Blake Griffin. I'll dunk over a Kia. Give me some shit. Okay, so that's what I was gonna ask you. Would you go ahead if they said, you know what? Cassie, I love your music, and we want to use Vibe. Was it Vibin' it? Vibin'. <laughs> vibin'. If, the, if they said, uh, we want Vibin' for one of our commercials. How now, you might, know now, what the sacrifice get, is. How much are we talking about? Right now? Uh, it could be, <laughs> you know, any given number. That could be a nice little chunk of change. Is this something where you want to keep it real, or is it something that you'd actually say, Psh, Keep me the cash. But what do you mean, keep it real? Like, uh, you, well, you know what? Everything has a personal, with every song that you develop. Yeah. Like, you, say, you, you have say a, you it have was a, a buffoonery, attachment. something that you didn't believe in. Correct. Would you, 
Would you still? Would you still go ahead and actually put your name to it? Just because you're getting your music out there. Correct. Mm. I don't know. That's from left. I don't think from left field, huh? Now check this out. Check this out. That was a great question. That was a great question. But check this out. The way I would see it, because I'm next to her at all times, Yeah, I would sit there and play it and be, no, we're not going to play ourselves. Right. Not at all. Right. So if it's something that we don't believe in, we're going to stand up for it. Right. And we're going to still try and work out the situation to where the deal does go through. Mm-hmm. Now, sometimes you do have to give a little to take a little, mm. but I'm going to make sure that she's taking more than giving. Right. You feel <clears> me? <throat> what we're giving already is talent. Right. So that is our profit and that's all we have. So at the end of the day, repay us for what we're doing. Mm. That's a given. But I'm not going to sit here and make myself look like a fool. Correct. Correct. Mm. I do have a career and I do have a future. So check this out. Okay, so that Ray makes Grant, sense. Like Jesus so said, it, we so, could be cool. So if it was something, you know, in the, in the realms of, you know, something that you could possibly believe in, it's not offensive, it's something that, you know. Definitely. Yeah, okay. That definitely. makes perfect sense. Uh, you know, and that is definitely one of those hard questions, you know. And, uh, Every you know, situation is different, though. It, it all it, depends on the situation. And, um, yeah, I mean, time? you know, it, it wouldn't be like yeah, a, yeah, uh, so you know, a Sarah McLaughlin moment where you're, you know, they're, you're asking you to put some of these, uh, you know, some of these tunes over some sad puppies that are being, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man. I, every time I see that commercial, I have to turn the channel. I'm like, that's enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, like, I get it. Like, when I hear, like, the kitten rescue is supposed to sound sad. Like, here, buy a kitten. But they made it sound funny when I heard the commercial. I was like, oh, shit, kitten rescue. Ha, ha, ha. You know, <laughs> I want to go get You a know cat. what's funny, though? Do you guys, I cats. No, you, I'm just playing. There's actually. Don't, <clears throat> don't get at me, Peter. There's one particular animals. channel, and I forget exactly what it is. I think it, uh, it's like history late at night. And it, it should be like the charity channel because every single uh, commercial they're playing is, poor me, people dying. I'm like, oh, my God. Hey, did you see the dog with one eye and, like, sleep in the other one? <laughs> like, he woke up from a crazy night. I felt so bad for that nigga. Like, oh, but I don't have six cents a day, nigga. I don't even watch. Okay, listen, I don't even watch, like, the American Idols anymore. Anymore. And before, you know, my, my favorite artist, they always hey. kept losing. I was so pissed. My effort. But they American actually, Idol American actually Idol, is yeah. rebuilding. They're really trying to rebuild with Jennifer Lopez. And uh, what's the new guy? He looks like Ryan Seacrest. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was like Miley Cyrus's dad. Oh, oh. I call him. I call him. Looks like him. Yeah, I call him Ryan Beach Chest. Right. Because that's all he is is fucking eye candy for women. <laughs> right. That's all the fuck he is. Like, really? Yeah, but the I mean. Let, he let, doesn't know shit about music. Who is this man? Who knows? Who is this man? <laughs> I don't know. Who is he? I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so are you American Idol watcher? Do you actually tune into that? I actually don't even watch TV. You don't? Yeah. You, had, do you own a TV? Ca- yeah, I had cable and all that stuff, and I just. Turned it off. Well, I guess you really wouldn't need one unless it was like an emergency situation. By that time, it'd be that, way too late niggas, anyways. Be probably. too busy. Yeah, Netflix and yeah. DVDs. Like, if I want to watch some shit, I'm going to control what I watch. I'm not just going to watch some buffoonery all, all over. Yeah, yeah, I'm a big football guy. Okay, that's a given. You know, I'm hey, a, you see them coat stuff. <laughs> you see them coat stuff. <laughs> He yeah, likes the Colts, like right? Guy, okay. yeah, you yeah. see them Colts, though. Yeah, he a Bronco they got fan. It, right? He a Bronco go. fan. He a yeah. Bronco fan. Yeah. He oh, took a Colt, though. He you took got, a You a got Peyton long... Manning is who you hey, got. Hey, yeah. re- re- into regardless of what happens, he will retire <laughs> a Colts. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, you know what? Uh, I don't know if the Colts are going to like it too much every time he comes in there and cleans their clock. <laughs> the power <laughs> of they, luck. Yeah, they, 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 let the, they let the number one guy go. That was a very bad hey, mistake. But he had bad for the knees. Broncos. I love Peyton Manning. He made me the Colt fan. Okay. Like, uh, let, yeah, let, let's get off let, that. Let's get, let's off, get there off there real football. quick because I know we don't have a lot I'm of football sorry. fans over yeah, here. We We're blowing like the hell out of everybody. <laughs> this is guy we talk. We got four minutes. I said <laughs> five. Minutes we got four. Yeah, four minutes. And counting. Let's do this then. Let's go ahead. We're going to kick in with Vibin by Kessie. Here we go. I'm grooving to these vibes, got a steady equilibrium I'm high up like an air shit from helium I'm sitting kinda twisted cause this motherfucking pain pill hitting And my boys don't fuck my bitches, I'm not eating where I'm shitting Got a wild imagination, man, I'm just stuck in this nation Where the only thing that matters is my fucking space station So I be flipping these switches, ready for lift off, I'll be flying To the only place I can attain with my third eye You're in this place, and I'm in here too We just vibe into the music Yeah, I'm feeling me, and I'm feeling you yeah. like an alien. 
even do I'm saying fuck NASA Cause my footprints were already there before the space landed Music loud, I don't give a fuck Philosophical knowledge has got me stuck And I'm vibing I'm high up like a truck Changing moods like a violin I'm roaring like a lion I'm flying like a lion I be vibrating Energy frequency be up in me I be dancing like a ribbon I be smoking like a chimney I be doing me a very sophisticated perspective All my government's corrupted I don't care who was elected I'm just making moves and making decisions in my visions Create the master plan I got the blueprints hanging in my kitchen I be feeling that shit at the base of my spine Vibing so much, man, I'm never on Yeah, I'm feeling me, and I'm feeling you like an alien do yeah. I'm saying fuck NASA, cause my footprints were already there before the space landed Music loud, I don't give a fuck, philosophical yeah. knowledge has got me stuck in a vibe And I'm high up like a truck, changing moods like a violin I'm roaring like a lion, and flying like a mayan I'm flowing like the Mississippi River through the Earth's crust Psychotic delusional I think I lost my mind a long time ago I don't know why I keep on fucking people I don't trust But I be vibing with you living in the moment And I popped a couple opiates I am my own opponent And they say the greatest challenge is your very own mind I'm just seeing like the deaf And I'm hearing like the blind You're in this place And I'm in here too We just vibing to the music Smoke that good shit and I'm part of Escalate. Yeah, I'm feeling me, and I'm feeling you like an alien do I'm saying fuck NASA, cause my footprints were already there before the space landed Music loud, I don't give a fuck, philosophical knowledge has got me stuck And I'm vibing, I'm high up like a truck, changing moods like a violin I'm roaring like a lion, and flying like a mayan, oh. Yeah, I'm going to give away 50 to you guys to give away. I want to go ahead and I want to say, you know, again, a very yeah, special to... thank you to Cassie. Thank you. Thank you so to, much for to having To Maul me. for coming in here. We're running short on time. Hey, so let's do the important things. Before I get out of here. Outs. You want to do some shout outs? You already know it. <laughs> before I get out of here, it's been 12 years that I've been doing radio with you guys. And I took like two years off, three years off actually, due to, you know, a little situations i was going through i'm back i'm not fucking around like it's Sorry. no more chefing it's so you're coming back and you're gonna join us on thursdays uh, too yes oh. yes you I'm guys actually, are in for some real i have at, literally i have two hours a week for you guys and let's <laughs> let's really get it in i want to bring back better beat radio this is magical. Running, you feel me? Mom, let's, this is let's magical. I'm going to have my co-host right here. Mm. We could do this. Like, honestly, it's two hours a week. We can put together the shows. We're going to run it. We're going to host it. Yeah, it's going to be all our music. Fuck you. This is what we do, <laughs> nigga. It, it Come out you. with better music, and I might play you, too. <laughs> there <huh>? you go. <laughs> <laughs> I love oh, it, man. shit. <laughs> no, nah, but everybody knows I'm a fair opportunist person. You know what I mean? I was the only hip-hop show for a long time. Correct. I do play out other people. Uh, I don't remember their names right off top right now. <laughs> uh, what was his BJ fifty two? Yeah. Uh, 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 dirt bag, uh, brown bag all stars. That's what bag. it was. Right, right, right. Uh, Kings of uh, something. I, I wonder if these bands are even still around. Yeah. Um. There's one. He's still around. He's definitely still pushing. But it, it's not that I don't like to work with him. It's just it doesn't work for what I got. So yeah, we're about to be up out of here. But shout out to to Mike, man, and Mike shout is... out to everybody at Excite. You know what? I can't just say, single anybody out. Mm. Shout out to the whole team because they're the reason I'm still even able to do this and, and have the opportunity. It's a good network to have, and you guys, we love having you here. Every time you I walk through the doors, it. I'm telling you, you just feel the energy that's permeating from you. You know, you're definitely very whenever welcome. I come here, I come here to work. You know what I mean? I come here to yeah. to to push something positive, not something negative. Yeah. Whatever I have, I leave it at the door. Let's come in here. Let's get it. 
to get Love the it. good vibe out here. You know what I mean? That's why we do music. Well, we're going to have some conversations after this for sure because we've got a lineup that's absolutely it's just mega hashtag, expensive. Hashtag. Uh, <laughs> we've got some of the we've got some of the biggest elite uh, you know musicians out there that that will be performing, and I would like to definitely have you uh, in studio, which you say you are going to. Yes. Uh, starting next Thursday at nine yeah. o'clock, we go live sex, drugs, and hip hop with sincerely Mall Five. Hey man, I'm gonna be up La- in here. Man. Laura Penn and uh, yeah. are we gonna have Cassie in here too? Whenever you need me. Yeah, That's we're gonna have the full this, crew. This I'm is gonna be to tell remarkable. You, man. This is what we do. <laughs> this is what we live for. Okay, well then we'll, we'll have to talk about some of the uh, some of the new and upcoming things. But again, let's really focus on the album coming out. Uh, the album is Pure Blood, the Gold Album. The Gold Album, and what you guys have been listening to is something remarkable. Uh, we've actually been very fortunate to have the exclusive Cassie. Thank you so much. She's going to be the most listened to artist on Excite Radio this year on my mama. There you go. There you go. Oh, my mama. And you heard it. You heard it there live. So, again, you know, uh, Cassie Key. That's K-E-S-S-I-E. Last name K-E-E. And you can find her pretty much anywhere uh, as long as you have Cassie a computer World. that works, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if your computer works, you, you'll be able to find her. And if you have any uh, if you have any questions about that through our studio, uh, very simple. I know that she'll be featured on ExciteRadio.com. That's X-S-I-T-E Radio.com. And if you have any questions about that, you can also call in live. Uh, at any point in time, and you'll get uh, someone that answers the phone. Probably won't be me, but it uh, could be somebody else. And that's 213. One day it'll be me, nigga. 973. <laughs> two nine I'm sorry, seven, I say nigga like after seven, everything. Seven. <laughs> it's internet radio, so I'm allowed to say it. So I'll be like, let's get high on a tribute stage, just not on camera. <laughs> uh, and we got to keep you up to date because we are actually on FM and AM now, too. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoops. Yeah, yeah. So we'll have Hello, to. Hello, my ahead. brothers and sisters. Right, exactly. Hi there. <laughs> hey there. Hi, hi there, there, everyone. Ho How there. is everyone today? That's great. <laughs> You know, hey, I love it. You know, we pushing. My bad. Two one three nine seven three two nine seven seven. Call now, nigga. We got someone My calling in right now. I can't help it. You're on live. Sex, drugs, and hip hop. Who's who's calling? Excellent. This is Gorilla Cookie, uh, uh, Silverback, coming to you live from the uh, from the Northridge area where we are currently experiencing a full blackout of the entire neighborhood. Wow. No Whoa. kidding, huh? Yeah, this I is... don't know. I don't know what happened guys, but, uh, some I'm drunk actually motherfucker at, at probably... a property up here. All the lights turned off. We went outside and realized there's probably a transformers out, but we're not really sure because of this wind. We are not being affected and by it one bit. We have super transformers over here, and I think really our energy is keeping this place going. Hey, you said uh, uh, it's heavy winds over there, so that's probably what it is. It's Actually, not well, something into a transformer. I'm sure a tree yeah. fell on a on a uh, transformer or something. Wow, yeah. wow, well, that's very. So, yeah, hopefully, in the next couple hours, you'll be good. Yeah, probably well, not. I mean, you know, <laughs> I was supposed to come and be on the radio with you guys, but unfortunately, the gate to get out of here is electric. So if you just went I'm, shopping, oh, you are. If, if, so if, you just. Oh man, I feel your pain. And let me tell you, if you just went shopping, you are so bummed. <laughs> you are so bummed I know, right, right now. Right? Yeah, Damn you it. are. Yeah, those uh, those nice hey, juicy so, uh, steaks, man. You better the throw those on the fire right now. Card for my grandma. <laughs> hey, I need to go ahead and get on your show. How do we get an interview with you? You're on my show. I own you. I love it. As soon as you picked up the phone, it, you just you just transferred title, man. <laughs> he said you transferred title. I we, heard we've that. got nuclear bombs going yeah. off in oh, the background see? right oh, now. Now y'all just playing yeah. with me now, huh? <laughs> the transformer <Yeah>. exploding. <laughs> It's a, it, that's that's the uh, that's the uh, digital radio version of a quick claim deed. You just signed over everything you own to me. <laughs> so now bend over. You're gonna pay your first dues. Oh, uh, I'm paying union dues. <laughs> union dues. You have to pay early. <laughs> oh no, I got something special for you. <laughs> hey, so I, I'm, am I on the line with Mal Five? Yeah, you're on. Yeah, that, that's who you've been talking to. You've been talking to Mal, and we also have Cassie Key here, which is uh, we're really kind of running out of time. Do you have anything yeah, to say to Cassie? 
Oh, uh, uh, do I have anything to say? I wanted to hear some music, man. We got no electricity up here. I thought you guys just play me a couple songs. Hey, run it. Well, I'll tell yeah. you what. I'm going to be playing it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna play all I, I, her tracks. You can play Lucy B shit. Run through my old archive, all thousand songs. <laughs> I've got like 892 Mall 5 songs inside this library, and I'm going to play each and every one of them back to back. 800. <laughs> hey, man. We, we can songs. go for some years, man. There was one time I yeah, was boy, making like four busy. songs a day. <laughs> <laughs> it was ridiculous. I was proving that I didn't make chamber music to my cousins. <laughs> now he no wonder you're so, that was it. That's what we're no talking about. Sorry. All right. Uh, all right. I, I appreciate all y'all. No Excited. So I love skinny, you. Man. You've been appreciate busy making music. Love. You forgot to eat for four years. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I'm about well, to blow again, away Cassie here. Key, thank you for stopping by the thank studio. You. We love you. Fantastic music. And uh, look for more of that to be played on Excite throughout the, uh, the, the next several years. Uh, and, and again, thank you to, uh, to Tay Mac for stopping in. Even though we didn't get much time to put him on camera, he is here. He is hey, the bodyguard and a personal advisor. He don't get advisor. on camera. That's fact, my muscle. Leave him alone. He <laughs> don't go on camera. If you need to have some personal uh, a personal advisor, you can get in touch with Tay Mac through Mall 5. Yes, Thursdays, sir. 9 o'clock. Mall, thank you, brother. This yeah, nigga's going to be my road support. Yep. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Connie Absolutely. Chung, signing out. <laughs> <laughs> We're bidding our fa- farewells here, Silverback, but uh, yeah, if, if anyone out there that's uh, that, that's still tuning in, uh, we've got Silverback here on the line. Everyone that does not know Silverback, then uh, you know what? You just, uh, you've just you been in a hole then somewhere. You don't know shit. You don't know shit. You've been in a hole somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Mark that. Mark that. Mark that, Mike. <laughs> anyway, so what a fantastic show this was. Uh, to actually have uh, to actually have these guests in studio was something pretty special. And to actually hear the, the announcement that Mall 5 is actually going to be joining us as a permanent addition on Sex, Drugs, and Hip Hop, along with Sincerely and Laura Penn. My goodness, I'm telling you, this is going to be, be something pretty. <laughs> this is going to be pretty amazing. So, uh, what do you think, Sin? I think it's awesome. I, I don't. Awesome, I what do I think? Yeah. What do you think, Silverback? That's what do I think. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, what do I think? I think 895 songs might actually get you a record deal. <laughs> you got enough material to go with. <laughs> I got 895 songs. Pick one. <laughs> well, let me tell you. You know, if, uh, if 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 the people out there haven't heard a lot of Mall, in fact, we're gonna go to a uh, to a commercial here uh, in just a brief moment. But uh, Silverback, tell you what. Let me go. Let, let me go ahead. And, I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off with you. I'll give you a shout here. Uh, come uh, a little bit later on and uh, we'll go ahead and pick up on some stuff that we need to talk (laughs) about anyhow Uh, but uh, again thanks for tuning on in to Sex Drugs and Hip Hop we'll be right back Peace It's time to build your website, but are you feeling overwhelmed on what to do next? What's the first step? What do you do? It's simple. Just give us a call. At Excite Media Los Angeles, we specialize in professional website development. For over 14 years, we have created well over 1,000 custom online experiences. From small businesses to enterprise, we can handle projects of any size. Need a mobile app? Want your site to do something unique? Looking to revamp and revive your existing site? We've got you covered. For more information, visit our website at XMLA.com or call us at 818-985-2464. Excite Media Los Angeles, web development. Do you speak geek? Are you smarter than everyone else you know? Do you end up fixing everything others simply can't? We have a new show just for you. Join Patrick the Bishop Estrada and Stephanie the Queen Mab as they discuss everything geek. From cosplay to comics, movies, music, and more. Get ready to get geeked. Join us live every Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific and interact with your questions and comments to find the answers you seek. Geek Speak. Fridays at 3 on Excite. Radio. Gold Rat to Urban Apparel. There's nothing cheesy about our gear. Shirts, hoodies, beanies. Visit us at goldrattooth.com or stop by Karma Loop and visit our online store. Gold Rat to Gold Rat to Where the cheese that feeds. 
Are you a connoisseur of scents? An ambassador of aromas? Love filling your environment with the smells that take you back, relax your mind, and set you free? At Aromas On Demand, we specialize in only the best. 100% herbal incense and aromas at incredible discount prices. Visit us online at aromasondemand.com. Excite Radio returns for our winter season of original shows, streaming live on ExciteRadio.com, and enjoy our video simulcast every Thursday at 5. Come join Phil and Aaron with the heartbeat of a planet and learn more about legendary and upcoming artists, including in-studio performances, interviews, and much more. And it's live. Call in and interact every Thursday for two hours, starting at 5 p.m. ExciteRadio.com Yes. Me again. Blue suede guy on a truck like this. You know how we do. Don Q Jump Productions. Let's make it happen. Ah, uh, yeah, I fly like Mariah. I pop like 50. Still worth a billion dollar bill like weekly. I don't like guys who are making it look like music is so easy. You dons are easy. Please hate us, don't beg, don't cry. I just want to say that music is my passion, yeah, FYI. Yeah, that was actually something really special. You know, to actually have uh, to have Maul and uh, special thanks to Cassie Key, Tay Mac, uh, to our guests uh, or to our fans that called on in. You know, Sin, I have to say, um, this right here actually being uh, show number three is actually quite. It's lining up to be quite, um, you know, an impressive. Uh, Oh, I guess build up three. to. Where do you get three from? It's uh well, the, I guess the first one that was actually done with was with yours truly, who had absolutely no clue of uh, what hip hop was until actually uh, you kind of showed me the ropes and actually brought me from the the rock side to what hip hop is all about. So you know, you've really educated me quite a bit on on uh, what's hip <laughs> and what's up. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love hip hop. Well, you know what? Uh, we could talk briefly here uh, about next week's, uh, or rather this Thursday's guest. It's it's Pink Dollars, and and uh, I really want to um, uh, let everyone know that this right here is going to be an explicit segment because um, they don't. One of my favorites. They're one of her favorites. Um, it's one of my favorites. Yeah, you know what? They uh, they're kind of like the the two live crew, I guess, of women. To nasty. that, they're nasty. They've got yeah. some some. Uh, they got some songs in there that that, that I've uh, that I've checked out, and let me tell you, yowza! And uh, it's actually quite stimulating too. You know, it's stimulating. <laughs> I'm tasty. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> you can only imagine the lyrics to that one. Uh, and then following that, obviously, we've got we've got a number of really elite. Um, uh, musicians coming in, not just musicians, but also we've got some adult film stars that uh, that we have in the queue, including uh, Jenna Jameson. We've got uh, Ron Jeremy, Tiffany Hayes. Uh, Tiffany Hayes. Uh, we're we're uh, still seeking out uh, Hip Hop Anonymous, not just the one from Baltimore, which we still are trying to reconnect with. Hopefully, those guys are doing okay. Uh, there's another one out actually based out of uh, Alaska. Anchorage, Alaska. <clears throat> Anchorage, Alaska. So, uh, Anchorage, Alaska. If Hayden. you are, if you're, if you're listening to this, we're actually looking for Hayden and Hip Hop Anonymous over there. So, uh, definitely want to want to touch base with them if they are still around. Uh, amongst that, you know, I do want to have a shout out to a lot of the people, uh, not just uh, uh, with the Excite team, which we've got an amazing team. Uh, Multi genres, and we've come, uh, you know, leaps and bounds from where we were merely, <clears throat> you know, a year or two ago, and uh, and all the syndicate uh, syndicate stations that are running our shows. Uh, we we love you all, and we really appreciate you you giving us this uh, this grand opportunity to, to you know to you know really do what we do best, and this is just just blab. 
You know, just, <laughs> just yammer on and, uh, you know, and make rambler. it. We're, we're, we're <laughs> rambling and blabbing and, you know, just, just really, you know, speak in our minds. And, and, you know, we love each and every one of you. And, and uh, you know, we look forward to, to, to building uh, a better relationship with all you guys. And, of course, down the line, we have some pretty uh, special things going on. We do actually have a, uh, a contest that's still kind of going on. Not really necessarily a contest, uh, but we can make it one. Uh, we actually do a lot of work in the film industry, and we are actually directly working with Paranormal for the chosen ones. And we do have some uh, some free merch that we are giving away. So anyone that, uh, that that calls in before we end in 30 seconds, that is available to you. <laughs> and if not, we'll have to wait for the next segment. No problem. But in the interim, Sin, is there anyone that you want to give shouts out to? Um, just. You know, Hayden. <laughs> I want to find Hayden. Just Hayden. <laughs> All right. Hayden everyone else can go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Now, you got to, now you, you're actually from up north. And, and um, you know, uh, it's a, a completely different lifestyle uh, from that from what Merced. If I'm not mistaken. Merced, Merced is that, like hell. It's hell. It's hell up in Merced. <laughs> you know what? Uh, yeah, if you're if you're up there in that area, sorry. Uh, I guess we've just had a, a, a one word description of where you're at, and it doesn't sound too friendly, guys. It's not. But just the same, you know. You know. Hopefully, we can we can brighten your your day without the flames, and offer you some uh, some refreshing hip hop music and some informative uh, information and details. I do want to give a couple shouts out. Oh, to my friends there, there. Okay. <laughs> said, hell. Okay, in um, hell. And who would that be? Um, that would be Christian. I miss you. Hey, Christian. And um, uh, Jesse, I miss you lots, too. Ah, uh, Jesse, we miss you and lots. And my ghost hunter friend, Teresa. Ooh, Teresa. There you go. Hi, Teresa. We used to go ghost hunting every weekend. <laughs> well, and that's going to be another one of our segments as well. In fact, we will be incorporating uh, some paranormal uh, guests into, into the show as well. Uh, I know that we do down the line. We've got, um, what? I think we've got uh, Jay Z, we've got Beyonce, we've got Prince, we've got Warren G. Uh, a number of. Yellow so, Wolf? Yeah, Yellow Wolf. Uh, you know, there's a lot of, lot of uh, really high profile. Um, musicians out there that we're going to have the opportunity to really pick their brain and hopefully ask some questions that you've never heard. And also welcome you guys to call on in and, uh, you know, get to speak to people that you, you know, may or may not like.